nothing with right. pizza. Uh, welcome to <laughs> the official Connecticut haters live, <laughs> live chat, live stream. I'm here with Matt Marin. Yeah. New to the chat, Jonah. What's up? Jonah Quest. What's good? What's up? And Miguel returning what's door up, what's court what's aficionado. Oh, yeah. How are we doing, everybody? We did, uh, Drew was the Lakers fan last time. Now Jonah's the Lakers yeah, fan. Yeah, <laughs> Lakers <laughs> fan. Are you a big Lakers guy? Fuck. Yeah, I love the Lakers. Yeah, I think the, the America needs the Lakers. Uh, <laughs> Everyone needs a villain. Yeah. Uh, so no. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check in in the fourth quarter here of this uh, Lakers this uh, Lakers Pelicans. Game. Yeah. yeah. Anthony that, Davis yeah. overcame his headache. Yeah. <laughs> but now he's back. Yeah. We were talking about the worst states that we've been to. That's why we said Connecticut. Yeah. Hey, why, I went it, Connecticut. Yeah, my, my Miguel said Iowa. Miguel's pick is Iowa. Fuck I haven't Iowa. been. I haven't been to Iowa though, so maybe it would be worse than Connecticut. Why do they call it America, not fifty worst states? I don't know. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. What about oh, you, Indiana, Robbie? Indiana, that's the worst state I've ever been to. Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Yeah, I had like a scratcher. I was like buying scratchers and like a road trip, and so like I had to get it validated before I went to Chicago. Mm. And then we went to Gary, Indiana. And I heard that place sucks. Yeah, dude, it's awful. Dude. Isn't that where the Jackson Five is from? Yeah. Well, that yeah. was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we went to, it was like during the pandemic, it was like 10, 5 a.m. And I saw a line out the liquor store. So I was like, oh, okay. It's like pandemic. They're only letting one people in at a time. Yeah. And I'm like asking the guy, I'm like, how come the line's not moving? He's like, oh, the liquor store doesn't open until 1030 a.m., man. We're just hanging out here. <laughs> It's tight. So you're telling me it's a cool state. It's yeah, actually, cool it actually state. rocks. Yeah. yeah. Um, Delaware is kind of lame also. Oh, yeah. The first state. Yeah, mm -hmm. they got they got a NASCAR track. That's pretty cool. They got Sick. Joe Biden. <laughs> they got oh, Joe the Biden. first person to comment is a girl. Oh, really? Check Hell out haters. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. up, KDA? Hey, Katie. How you doing? Good to meet you. <laughs> Katie, yeah. uh, can you please show us your boobs? <laughs> Yo, Pike Von Doom says, Sup. Yo, if you say go Warriors, we will feature your chat, even if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not even even if you call us queers. Even if you call us queers. Uh, man. Hey, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, all right. People are people are, all right, yep. people are popular. Lakers up seven in the fourth right this now. This is one of the rare times I'm rooting for the Lakers to win, which That's is a Lakers. terrible place to be in. Yeah. No, all right. Let's see. All right. So what are some more bad states? I still think that the Warriors have a better chance against the Lakers. I think there's, the like, I've been to New Orleans before, but I feel like Louisiana is a bad state outside of New Orleans. Yeah. I've heard of Baton Rouge is nice. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been before. Yeah, I've only been to want, New like, Orleans. Black prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, you're speaking my language. <laughs> That's exactly why I heard I had to go. Yeah. Oh, Katie showed us her boobs. Thank you, everybody. Oh, wow. Thanks, Katie. Oh, Drew's in the chat. What's up, Drew? Good to kinda, see you. Kind of big nipples. Excited for the Lakers or the Yankees game. Drew is taking us to the Yankees game on Friday. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Dude, Very this excited. Katie chick looks hot. Yeah, let me see. Look at that. Look, look at that, Matt. There you go. Right. Nice. This is awesome. <laughs> Dude, this chat's already paying <laughs> off. <laughs> I saw boobs today. That's great. Yeah, I just got. I was telling these guys, I just got a we might, we we should just be friends text, which is. Uh, I'm glad now I'm live with all my actual friends in the chat, <laughs> and my my real my real friends to my right and my left. Yeah, this is actually an ideal scenario because when you get one of those texts and you just by yourself, you just wallow for uh, a while. Yeah, so. it's even way this, better. To even be if you don't people. care, if you're if you're by yourself, it really gets you. Suck yeah, that. especially because I, I didn't text her in the first place. Kind of came out of nowhere, you know. It was a out of the blue one. That means she is fishing. Oh, you think? Yeah, that's a, that's a girl that's asking for you to give her a little more like, oh, no, I thought that... I kind of gave her I like, I said I get it. it. Uh, yeah. See you around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, gotta, you gotta I got a game to watch, babe. Yeah. 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 Babe, the Warriors are on. What do you want me to do? I can't write an essay right now. Yeah. <laughs> she should have known before the biggest game of the year. Yeah, that's true. Gabe she Vincent really just scored points. Yeah. She really texted me on the night of the NBA playing games. <laughs> that's almost as bad as that's almost as bad as texting me during the in season tournament. I, she know? would uh, never. She would never. I she knows even, better. Even she would know not to do yeah. that. <laughs> uh, whoop. Thank God the starry was not. Jesus, that was almost a disaster. Uh, yeah, that is Jonah Quest. I, oh, there, there he is. That's uh, that's what's his actual name? Tim. What's up? Tim. Oh, Tim. Oh, yeah. Tim Amelia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his actual uh, name. Yeah, dumb fat fuck <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he goes no, by Tim. But he goes by Tim yeah. for sure. No, yeah. Read his name. Read his name. Uh, uh, his, nah, my, say my his name. My name is Tim. My real name is Fat Fuck Retard. 
Uh, Drew Tim, says, Tim, tell you. Jonah if he wants to come, he's welcome. I asked to. Oh, do you want to come to the Yankees game? Uh, yeah, if I'm not doing anything, I'm done. Nice on Friday. Drew, I have other people who want to go. If, no, I, I, I could reach work. out to like yeah. people with like, TV credits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got to, I got some Yankee fan friends. Dude, Dan Soder, he's a guy. He's a guy. Gabby Jordan Brown. Drew, invite the girl Never next door. Girl. <laughs> Jonah, please come. Drew, Drew. <laughs> Gabby's kind of like a dude, though. Drew, invite She's the lesbian. girl across the hall. She left uh, a note oh, on the broom that, that she returned. What's that? She, I saw she that too. That's hilarious. She, she uh, dropped it back off with a note that said, come over anytime. Really? Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, really? That. She was it was probably for Drew. No, I think that was definitely for you. Are you yeah. kidding? Drew, Drew's not a guy. Drew's not a guy who gets notes like that. <laughs> Drew's a guy who sends the notes <laughs> Drew, Drew <laughs> to, does, to the San Francisco Police Department because he just because he wants to say he's the Zodiac killer. Oh. I just did. Anthony Davis just take out someone else's eye. Nice. Wow. Man, how the it? tables have turned. I did just see Drew on Twitter being upset. He bet on the Giants and they lost to the Marlins, who had only won two. Why games the this fuck year? would Drew beat uh, the Giants? Suck this year. But they're playing the Marlins, who were. Two Two and fourteen. Oh, that's uh, fine. Drew, and Drew was so excited about the Giants this year because they have a good pitcher, right? Their, yeah, yeah. They got All that. Right. Cur- they, they got a, a, KBO they have a Chinese MVP. guy. Are they like lied? Chung Ho Lee. I heard they like lied to his agent to get him or something. Like Maybe. the agent didn't that's know possible. he was going to the yeah. Giants. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know anything. The about Shohei's baseball. interpreter thing. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The, the interpreter was like found guilty. Investigation. Oh, really? He sold sixteen million dollars from yeah. Shohei. So, so, yeah, Shohei didn't notice. He's so rich. Oh, he was wow. missing sixteen yeah, well, million dollars. Oh, it's me all. <laughs> well, yeah, they said they they said I'm he. Sorry, could... that's racist. He's Japanese. It was more like. Oh, <laughs> give me the money. <laughs> Well, they said that like that he did call the bank pretending to be Shohei, so he probably was just doing Shohei's voice. Yeah, that's Ooh. Drew says this because we have a cool new Korean player. And yeah, yeah. I so love you guys, Asian you guys yeah, believe that? What? I mean, buying I, that. Uh, I mean, I, I from believe... the beginning, from the beginning, I was like, this is a cover up. Now I'm like, all right, less likely, but still, I don't know. I, I don't know, there's, dude. There's excuse, so much money oh, on yeah, the line. He yeah. called pretending to be me. Japanese yeah. people are sneaky. That's true. <laughs> There's that whole Pearl Harbor thing. Yeah, yeah. Holocaust, no one talks yeah, about. No one talks about yeah, the yeah, yeah. 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 If you watch yeah. old wrestling clips, Mr. Mm-hmm. Fuji's always cheating. Yeah, dude. Mr. Miyagi is like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> <good. laughs> on, wax off. Yeah, he just wants to get his car clean. Just yeah. labor. <laughs> Wax on, wax off. Yeah, I'm not buying it. Hey, happy 20th anniversary to Kill Bill Volume 2, everybody, by the way. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's sick. That's a movie nice. I'll watch on Netflix. Yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> <sighs> It's like, who are those movies for like people in like just in a relationship to where they're like, what, those, go to, those kinds of action movies? Like to actually go to they're the for, theater. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. You mean like to go watch something like Fast 10? It's like, yeah, it's just like, oh, there's nothing. We just have to have a date. <laughs> me, you know and, yeah. and, me and Robbie got yeah, tall me, boys and saw Fast 10. <laughs> Yeah, that is. That, to be oh, fair, that actually, is a guys, sick let's, let's movie. Try to keep it not super, lo- super loud, just because the the walls are thin. Oh, I'm not gonna yell yeah. Did and you I, did you get last? Did you get yelled at last? No, time not last this? time. Oh, I, I, but it took. We used to record the Loud Boys here. Yeah, we did about, an episode where we talked about me, going to Chinatown. It was me, Joe, and Matt. And, <laughs> and then this I, the Irish neighbor came up, and me and Joe are here just hearing Robbie get yelled at, and she's going, and they're saying Chinese this and Chinese that. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't want to do that again. Well, I, you I think see, the right. name of the produced. podcast. We just need to like, yeah, well, they didn't know that. They were like, what the hell is that? But yeah, we're, we're cool to talk and rip and stuff. Just like, uh, I mean, look, I'm a loud, I'm the loudest guy ever. Just, You're you know, a loud boy. I'm a loud boy. That was why I named it. Yeah. No Chinese stuff. No Chinese. Uh, no, 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 no. No, uh, dude, you say whatever you want. Just, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's more of a volume issue, uh, you know, just, uh, let's don't be too funny. Everybody. Uh, don't <laughs> yeah. make me laugh that hard. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm here for basketball. I'm here for basketball insight. And yes. yeah, this is a basketball I'm, analysis. NBA podcast. drama. Yeah. Yeah. The game. I'm here to provide my analysis. I'm here for Draymond basketball. to stomp Sabonis again. And, uh, do you remember last time he did that? He did a WWE move as he was getting ejected. What did he do? So sick. Oh, like pose. Was when he was well, like, yeah, he was like doing that. And Adam Silver was in the crowd and he was like trying to hide his face. It was, it was a total like reverse Vince McMahon moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shit on someone's head. Was, oh, we got a super chat. 
and Necrobopoly. Yeah, I thought the Hoops Edna. Boys, and I don't mean the ones Robbie jumped through to get the Matt Marin back again. <laughs> Probably see you in a bit. Thank you, Edna. Thank you very much. Um, what a sweetheart. Hey, we're already we're already in the in the pink here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was like a ballet. Yeah. Um, everyone, Everybody, if you want to watch long, you can stream it on Max, I guess. They stream TNT games on Max. On, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. That's Report. actually most of the basketball I've watched this season. If if I'm like yeah. accidentally watching like Righteous Gemstones, and oh, yeah. I see there's a basketball game. Do you watch that Fallout show? I have not yet. I started it today. I've actually I actually kind of like it. Is it on Max? Uh, it's on Amazon Prime and um, Walton Goggins is in it. That's why uh, Righteous Gemstone made me connect that thought. Was it's a funny it's, guy. They are playing an all-time was bad he, hi, righteous my, gemstone. Yeah, he's a uh, baby Billy, Uncle Baby Billy. Yeah. As far as stadium he's names go, oh, oh, oh. crazy gray hair. Mm-hmm. He was in Vice Principals too. Oh, the other one. He's, that's that yeah. guy's name. Yeah, he gets, Walton Goggins. He gets like hand jobs while he drives. We were talking about the guy that's uh, like a a Navy SEAL guy that's friends with Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh, David, <laughs> David Goggins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I just realized our mic sucks. Oh, all of them are. No, I, I just need to change it. Wow. Is it the Zoom? Should be. That's probably it. Yeah. What's wrong? Okay. <laughs> no, I just, it was just the fucking. Oh, wait. No, it's this one. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I'm sorry. I thought it was like Zoom, like the Zoom app. My bad. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great, great, great. No, we should be going through this. It might be. It sounds a little loud, but. Oh, really? I don't know. Oh, right. I haven't you have, seen you have, any you have the fucking. Been... You have the cans on. My bad. Yeah, I've been trying to. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh,. Drew says sounds fine. Okay, good. Sorry, yeah, I just right, I'm just okay. I have, I have, high, I have high anxiety. Yeah. Is this the uh, worst name? Yeah. Is this Yo, the worst had... named arena? The Smoothie King Center. Yeah, it's the, best it's the one? Smoothie King Center. It's in like the, the NBA, worst of the name. NBA ones. That's a pretty rough one. Uh, uh, Crypto.com was pretty brutal. Crypto.com is rough. It was the Staples FTX Center arena. before that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. In baseball, Florida Marlins have a Lone Depot Park. That's sick. Lone Depot. Lone Depot. Sometimes the, the best uh, the best was when the Oakland Coliseum was owned by Overstock and it was just O.co. Yeah, O.co. yeah that was O.co. good. I forgot about that. Sometimes they uh like even if they're like a sponsor stadium, it sounds normal. Like Chase Center doesn't sound like to City Field sounds normal. I love right, pa- right. I loved Pac Bell Park because it was all one syllable. Pac yeah. Bell Park was great. Pac Bell Park. Park sounds normal. Yeah. A- AT&T Park and Oracle Park yeah, have nothing on. Pac I didn't Bell realize Wrigley Park. Field wasn't sponsored. I I, always, no, I thought it was, it was the named forever. after the guy. I just learned that like last year or something. I think in baseball, there's like eight stadiums that are, I know it's Yankee Stadium. Uh, Wrigley, Fenway, the Stadium Fenway. Arcadium in yeah. LA is named after the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Angel Stadium is just Angel Stadium. Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City was named after the owner. Oh, nice. look at that. Yeah. In the NBA, it's Eddie Murphy the yeah. third. Good job, yeah. dude. I know dude. Madison Square Garden is not sponsored. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's only a Boston couple. Garden was that for a while, but it now, was it's TD. TD. Garden. now it's TD. Yeah. yeah. Why is it Garden? Why is it all Garden? It's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think Garden's just another like. Which one was first? Or arena? What? Which NBA? TD or Madison Square Garden? I That's think a good Madison question. Square Garden. Uh, yeah. Okay. I look. All of you know up. who won the first NBA title of all the teams? Who was was it, guess? Uh, Lakers. Fort Wayne Pistons. Is it the Minnesota Lakers? The Sixers. The Warriors. Really? Uh, the Warriors won the, the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. That was my confusion. Of all time. I, I would have guessed like one of the other random, like the Syracuse Nationals. Or one of those <laughs> yeah. Teams. yeah. Yeah. The, the Buffalo Rochester, Clippers. The, the Rochester, Rochester Royals. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The Rochester the Royals Kings. are now the, the Sacramento Kings. Kings. But welcome to Rochester, so the city of the future. Right. Manufacturing will take us to a new era of prosperity. <laughs> welcome to Rochester. <laughs> this will be the biggest city in the world in 50 years. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, well, nothing can back off from having a uh, 50th. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't get how we're getting so many chats. But they put a have... sleek new two-lane uh, highway in the downtown. The somehow, but we're getting a lot of chats, so maybe there's a glitch oh, or something. Oh. Yeah, how do we have zero viewers and people chatting? Are, are people just not watching it? Are they chatting? What the hell's going on here? Hell yeah, just hell yeah. friends. They're watching the game. Wait, oh, yeah, that's true. It's a, maybe they're waiting for the game to the other game to start. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Uh, 
Yo, I uh, Jonah's last... sitting like he got a butt plug in. Jonah, can you respond to these allegations? Hey, look, Tim, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> all right, hey, go go to fucking do your you in your fucking car right now, watching this on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> MSG had past location. Oh, Drew says it's a glitch. Like, okay, it's a glitch. All right. We have like a hundred viewers right now. Oh, we have so many people. All right, look at all these people chatting. All right. Thank God. All right. Fuck yeah. So MSG is wow. current oh, location. Oh wow, this game is nuts. Dude, current Matt, location, look. MSG 19. Oh wow, that's close. Two point game now. Now that's a oh, classy oh, that is that is an IQ play. Play. Look, He was humble friend, too. Uh, I like friend, that. He's humble. You know what? That's the guy who's just in the gym all day. That's a gym rat. <laughs> Just you know what I really love? He's not really focused this on This is one of my favorite screen. things about Steve Kerr. Yeah. It's like every time we play against a good white guy, he's like, oh, man, that's the kind of guy I'd love to coach. Love Dude, and Pods <laughs> has gotten – he never plays rookies, and he plays Pods like 38 minutes a game. Dude, he, he just ran fucking Wiseman out of the league. He almost blew the relationship with Kuminga. He's but like, it's like, I don't know. He's just too – There's something about yeah. Pods. It's just like – He just doesn't fit in with our light-skinned black guys and also Draymond, the blackest man who's ever existed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the Boston Draymond. Garden, I got the history now. The, right. the TD Garden is re a rebuilt version. Yeah, we're watching the, the Supersonics Garden. versus the Grizzlies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The TD Garden was Drew, built in 95. The original, that Drew's not here. He should be here. The Next original time. Boston Garden was 1928. <laughs> oh, wow, is that yeah. true? Do you play basketball around children, Jonah? Dude, I have a bunch of black teenagers that are my friends that I play basketball <laughs> with. <laughs> and they'll like fucking... Yeah, that's uh, what P. Diddy said, too. No, 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 no. I like I, teaching that's them. pretty I, cool, dude. They, they tend to just antagonize me on the street and nah, be like, yo, nah, is your nah, dog nah. a girl? What, no, one time I was playing basketball on the projects and there was this like drunk black guy that came through and he, he just like saw me sink a three and he's like, oh shit, it's white chocolate, y'all. Yo, oh. hand the ball to white chocolate, everybody. You're Jonah Jonah Reddick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So, current shout out to Larry's backyard barbecue. If no, that's a real shout out, Larry. Place. Shout out, racist yeah. Larry. Yeah. Current location, MSG is older than I'm TD playing, Garden. I'm playing golf with really? wow. Larry's backyard um, barbecue. This the original, nice. it said the original MSG was like in the late 1800s, also. Wow. But so, Boston Garden was there from 1928 to 1995. Then they rebuilt it as TD Garden. Nice. And MSG is in its current location since 1968, but it had a previous location back in the 1800s. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. So um, here's a fun fact. Yeah. Oracle was the first time a ring was run in was won in Oracle Arena. The ones they won in the Bay Area with Rick Barry, it was supposed to be at Oracle, but they they were the Warriors were so unlikely to make the finals that they booked Sesame Street to be in the Oracle Hell Arena that, yeah. this, the week of the so finals. They so they played in Cow Palace in, da in Daly Ooh. City, which uh, yeah, I saw. Know, I saw the Cow Palace. Dude, I saw the Ringling Brothers oh, the in Cow, Cow Palace. Palace. That's where Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. That's where play. the San Jose Sharks, I think, played the first few uh, years. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's how I know. Yeah, it. yeah so I they, saw that. I saw them back when they were abusing elephants, dude. I saw like the classic. Oh yeah. Uh, so technically, good. Good. Yeah. the Warriors played all road games that that series, but yeah. they won four and zero. Against the Washington Bullets. Yep. Ooh. Well, the seventies NBA was like, wow. That's when the games were on like tape delay. Well, Rick Barry was there. That's when it was classier to me. I just feel like yeah. they, they played the game the right way. Oh, Josh, no, Rick, yeah. they, they dribbled Bill like straight Walton. up and down with their wrists. It was just a lot more mm -hmm. fundamentals. It wasn't flashy. It was about mm -hmm. dunking. Cocky, you know? but not com not cocky. Confident. I think we all agree. Rick Barry was a real classy player. Yeah, class a high IQ, high IQ yeah. kind of guy. Yeah. Sneaky, athletic. I say. Yeah. Uh, hard worker yeah that's what we don't have enough to first do first in yeah. last out he's, yeah. kind of, <laughs> yeah. he's not really focused first on the, in the big, locker room last to leave not that's focused what on what's going on on the big screen focused on the court great court vision yeah after, uh, after joker kicked that game winner shot against Steph recently i showed this to matt but there was a guy who said that exact like oh, that, yeah, like an older like, white guy is like that's why joker is better than Steph. he's not focused on what's going on in the jumbotron he's not <laughs> doing any of that, none not, of that mouthpiece chewing no <laughs> no shimmying <laughs> Yeah, people fucking hated that. Although, you know what's funny is when Steph was really talking shit was the last championship, and it was because oh, yeah, Jordan Poole yeah, was hyping said him that. Up. That was a really good point. Dude. That's, is that when Night Night started? Yeah. That was nice. all because fucking Whoa. Jordan Poole is a little shithead. I'm kind of rooting for the Pelicans here just because they're a more likable team to me. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Knicks fan, so I don't have a dog in the fight. I like the Pelicans. Of the... Uh, 
I mean, general, Zion, you can't. I would be happy if he made a run. Yeah. But here's the thing: he would make. He'd be more likely to make a run if he lost this. Honestly, and, just outside of being a fan of any of the teams. Wow. Involved, if you're just That's watching crazy. from my point of view, you almost want Pelicans and Kings because they're fun new teams. Mm, no, everyone. The, no, the NBA everyone definitely wants, wants the no, Lakers the Warriors. Does. I think most casual. I'll, I'll, I think almost everyone wants Lakers and Warriors in the finals. I don't know about in the finals, but they oh, no, I, in the playoffs. It, it'd be sad if they both missed the playoffs. I, I think actually not even necessarily in the playoffs. I think that the NBA wants a Lakers Warriors playing. Yeah, game. of course. Oh, yeah, right. They're both going to get washed in the playoffs. In the fir- yeah, in the first round. But it, it would just be a bummer if LeBron and Steph both miss the playoffs. That'd yeah, be, yeah, that'd be that'd be a bummer. I'd like to I'd like to see I just I guess like they can't both miss. But if they, one, could, they, they just, could if they if lose and then them, the Kings win. Honestly, if yeah. it just became like an True. OKC Shea Gilgis Alexander becomes the new star. No, in the that league. would suck. <laughs> OKC is like a shitty small market. He, I just don't I, I, think I, he's like he doesn't. He's really talented, but I don't think he's star of the league. Yeah, I I don't subscribe to this basketball nerd contrarian stuff. Where it's like, yeah, Shea Gillis is like it's like no, it's a shitty small market team, and he he's not. For lack of a better word, he's not that flashy. <laughs> like he's just not fun. It'd be fun. Nice. To see. Oh, he's Zion. Fun. Zion I like Zion's, Zion's great. great. It would be fun to watch, uh, like a new team. Like okay, so he comes out of nowhere, the number one seed. A, that, a seven game series between them and like a uh, Phoenix Here's or thing, Denver could be fun. It'd yeah. be fun. Yeah, but just like it's not even making the playoffs. LeBron and Steph the last two years, we could ever even see them in the playoffs. And Josh Giddy's innocent. That's true. Oh, <laughs> AD, what are you doing? There we oh, go. Good. I'm glad his headache cleared up. I yeah. can't believe I'm that's rooting true. for the that's, Lakers. That's one of my favorite kind of guys. First of all, a white guy in the in the NBA <laughs> and a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> that girl's hot as hell. She was hot, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did nothing but number. Hey, you don't gotta fucking tell me twice. <laughs> uh, we're doing the Seinfeld defense. Look, she had big titties. <laughs> yeah. Who cares if she was seventeen? Well, here's the thing, dude: is that what they're putting in the milk these days? You don't know <laughs> what these girls' titties like, dude. I I was put in the buildings. I was working at the beach for a little bit. You're a crazy guy. I was working at uh, Robert Moses for a little bit when I was in college. Um, yeah, like, is that your murders. boyfriend? Did you and, <laughs> and dude, you'd see like butts walk in with like thong bikinis and just yeah, like yeah. really nice thick cheeks. They turn around in twelve. Uh, uh, they they yeah. turn around and be no. children. Yeah, like, I regard oh, Chris no. territory. He did a rant like right before he got me too. He's like, "Have you seen women these days? They go from <laughs> six to thirty-five. I'm like, "Whoa, six is a low, <laughs> that's a low number there, Chris." So it's like you got to date them when they're five years old. It's yeah, like I'm, I'm not like, fucking yeah, a thirty-five. You know, they're thirty-five. <laughs> like she, she's, how can you tell if she's ten or thirty-five? How could you ever tell? <laughs> uh, oh, All right, I gotta pee real quick. Yeah, oh, but there should be hair looking great. Thank you, three B. Finally, I needed that. I yeah. got ghosted today. Not really ghosted. Actually, it was a very fair. It was actually very nice. He has the opposite of ghosting. No, it's actually like a mature thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> it just hurts. It just hurts, you know. Ghosting sucks. God damn! I forgot how f- I haven't watched a Zion game in a while. Don't mean either, man. He's yeah. a tank. Yeah, and he's he's so fun to watch when he's yeah. On. Yeah, he's and then you like almost forget. Right like I remember him coming into the league. It was like he's six seven. So I'm like, oh, so he will be shorter than a lot of these other. Yeah, big guys. that's true. Yeah, but then still, he's just like a. Machine. But he doesn't play like it. Yeah. 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 Who's like it compares like Barkley? I, uh... Yeah, Barkley was six four and led the league in rebound. He, yeah. Actually, hurt but right Barkley now. Though? Was kind of bigger at the time, right? Yeah. The round mound of rebound. Yeah. I watched, so there was one day where they had like the, um, some like throwback game on NBA game time. I was at my parents' place where they have cable. Yeah. And it was the Barkley 56 point playoff game. Nice. Every once in a while, I watch an old game and I'll like, I like, there's not as many like three pointers, but the mid range game was such a fun thing to watch. Yeah. That's like the one. I mean, obviously, like the play, old people are full of shit. Like they play better today in the NBA than they've ever played before. Yeah. But like the two things you say is like the traveling, the yeah. like the uh, the double, double. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they can't carry do, and shit back then. I do like traveling. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I like carry. Like I like dribbling. <laughs> like. <laughs> We should travel sometime. Th- th- you watch like the. Do you guys want to go like Paris or something? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I will. I I watched like the um like eighty eight All Star game. Yeah, like and the fact well one it was like eighty six to ninety one. 
No, the, the, no, the All Star yeah. games were still more high scoring. There's the but it was like fun, they actually yeah. tried a little. At yeah, least. Dude. But it's Zion got hurt. Uh, uh, no way. Yeah, he landed weird on that last one. He yeah. came away limping, and then and then immediately pulled his jersey over his head. I think he knew something messed up. See, like that was a travel or like a carry. Yeah, well, thirty years ago. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, but honestly, I, I, yeah. I like that. Like, that has added more fun. Like, yeah. otherwise, Allen Iverson would never exist. Yeah. Heat, I also, I sure. just love the transition game, which has come back a bit with three pointers because I just come across the line to shoot. But for a while, it was just drive the lane, get a foul. Yeah. Mm. And if, and even though I love, I'm a big Shaq guy. So I love Dwayne Wade. It felt like every time I watched Dwayne Wade, it was drive the lane, get a foul. Oh, Yeah. And Zion, yeah, but when, Zion you're saying hurt. that that changed. Yeah, the script the script said that Zion a, would get hurt yeah, for yeah. a while. It ch- and now with three pointers, guys like the it's everything spread out a little more. Yeah, there's still, there's a, foul. still a lot of drawing fouls. There's still a lot of drawing fouls, but I feel like there is like like watching back an old game, you just notice it did go back and almost like a tennis match. Yeah, it's like back and forth. It does. And back and yeah, forth. and it's then for the a while, break, yeah, and for a while it felt like there was always calls. Now it's less than it was. Still not quite what it was like yeah. back in the day. But yeah, you are right. Whenever the old people are like, everything was better back then, that's not true. But when everyone today shit. is like, back then was terrible, they weren't good. Like, that's not true either. I, do, just I do think Michael Jordan would still be the best player in the NBA. You're out of your mind. I think if you take any player from like back then, whenever, and they were born today and were like raised with like today's nutrition and training and everything they probably would still be just as good but if you take them just as is everyone today is way more athletic it's insane yeah I'm back, john don't worry about it like anthony edwards but anthony edwards <laughs> looks like a young jordan yeah send, he really like, does uh, yeah he send really send does. and he still needs to have that send kind of breakthrough yeah. year where he comes back bigger and stronger and with red eyes he needs to win yeah he needs the red eyes <laughs> he's addicted to alcohol yeah and he needs to and, get and his and father he needs his father murdered yeah, yeah. <laughs> The gambling he's a, he's problem. A gambling yeah. and it's his son to date his teammate, his his enemy teammate's daughter. Oh, that would and, piss me off. Yeah, dude, I actually felt really bad for um the widow of the owner of the Bulls got booed this year because uh, everyone hated the owner for from because yeah. of the last dance was like yeah. how do you watch the last dance and not think that's like total Jordan propaganda? Yeah. Like I love it, but it's like it was fun. Yeah, it's really fun, but it's like damn, is this gonna go to overtime? That'd be nuts. Oh. Go! Wow. That's what I'm saying. Braun and Clutch is, and look at him. He, he just doesn't look like he did anything. I mean, after winning the in season tournament, I think he could do anything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Confidence. He's done everything he could ever do. <laughs> he finally He's checked all the everything. boxes. Yeah. yeah. What, like, what has Michael Jordan never done? Never won an in season tournament. <laughs> we, we, we that much. That after he won, they were like, I guess the GOAT debate is settled. <laughs> <laughs> MJ0, LeBron won. <laughs> Incredible. Matthew Malan. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> Tim, uh, Tim, uh, Tim is recruiting girls from the group chat oh, yeah. to come on to the Twitch <laughs> yeah. stream. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! All well, right, let's go. This is probably the worst part to see because it's just a really entertaining fourth quarter right now. Yeah, we're just watching it. And my mouth open. Like, oh. Nice. Oh. Yeah, sync your TV. Sync your TV to what we're it's watching. It's on Max. Then, if you're not watching, you know, it's almost yeah. over. Watch along. Yeah. You're just watching us have a nice time watching a game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost better when the game is bad. So we yeah. can just like talk about like, hey, so who's fucking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, they- Caitlin Clark only deserves to make seventy five thousand. Oh, I like yeah. I actually like Caitlin Clark more than the NBA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which oh, man, did you see have you did you see Twitter spazzing about that yeah, I did. Mark, I yeah. did. It was just obvious. A lot of people who don't know anything about the WNBA, are like, so why doesn't she make as much as uh, Wemby? It's like because she's the first star in the WNBA yeah. ever. Ever. Because no one yeah, watches like, those also, games. Also, she makes more than most rookies in the NBA, yeah. which is crazy because the WNBA doesn't make any money. Also, you know, they were just talking about that's pretty much the money I'm so that glad the fucking girls came in for us to just get mad at the WNBA. <laughs> I hate women. <laughs> the WNBA doesn't make any money, but no, we but, all yo, we all think it's healing. Yeah. Yeah, it should. I'm pointing out a mm-hmm. an, an equity problem. Mm-hmm. 
Kaitlyn Clark is making essentially the same money as Brock Purdy. I don't want to fucking really? hear it, bitch. Yeah. 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 Wait, Brock Purdy makes no, that little. Brock, Brock, Brock Purdy's Purdy's making, made like a hundred thousand. That's it? Well, I mean, he's making bank no off. Way. He's making six. His figures. rookie contract because he was oh, he saw dead the last contract. in the thing. Yeah. It's irrelevant. But that was right. like I saw it like Will Compton tweeted at Caitlin Clark, she's not even making practice squad money. Yeah. <laughs> Which Brock Purdy is making, but it's still is it's it's no, but yeah, he he made like maybe it was three hundred thousand, but yeah, was, I think it was three hundred thousand. Which 300, is three hundred thousand, but I compared to where is she again seventy five thousand. No, no, but where Iowa? Yeah, I mean that seventy five thousand is making a lot further. And in she's Iowa got than drafted by, and she got drafted in by Indiana. Yeah, yeah, she's rich. Yeah, he, he has bitch. to live in the Bay Area on yeah. three hundred thousand dollars. He's she's living getting in Indiana. Wait, is Indiana. from the Bay Area? No, oh, I'm saying sorry. Brock I think Purdy Sabrina, is, Sabrina's yeah. from the Bay Area. Right. No, but Brock Purdy's uh, got to live in the Bay Area. Yeah, but the endorsements and the commercials. Yeah, yeah. Caitlin right. Clark. Right. She'll she'll she's going to get endorsements, dude. She's yeah. going to be fine. I think that's a, the main thing. Everyone's like, that's all she's making. It's like, no. you don't understand how Why much do money. Why do athletes deserve to make an absurd amount of money? She's still making fine money for her yeah. first job. She's actually making way more money than most rookies in the NBA. Yeah, you're probably yeah. going to make money for one year of yeah. probably going to be on job experience. Going to be a bunch of tampon commercials. Year, yeah, honestly, <laughs> it should be guys that are forklift certified. Should be making three hundred thousand. Yeah, would you guys that's go to real. a WNBA game if, if they were in town, Caitlin Clark. I would. I would go to a Liberty game. I would go to a Liberty game. Yeah, yeah. I'd go to a game, but I would have to get the tickets for free. <laughs> I would, go, like $10, I would go like ten dollars. I don't, I don't, I don't like, care. I better not have to pay for anything. How much are you paying? Me? <laughs> as long as I better get like a free hot dog. You're treating go, it like comedy. You're like, dude, I'm not go going see, to that show. If I gotta pay five dollars, I, go I, I, yeah. I would see a Caitlin Clark game over like a Big Three game. You know, as long as long as they don't vote, I'm okay with Zion that. With forty <laughs> points, is he back on the court, dude. Forty point Zion game. That's awesome. Dude, Zion Redemption Year. The Protocols of the Elders of Zion. Yeah, I'm, for real. I'm a Zionist now. Yeah. <laughs> He's the man. Oh, my God. This is crazy. You know what? Uh, you're right, Robbie, you're, fuck Palestine, dude. I agree, dude. <laughs> Zion Williamson rules so much that I now uh, think we should turn Gaza into a parking lot. <laughs> I don't know anything about politics. I, just I think we should Zion. sacrifice the red heifer in front yeah. of the temple yeah. and bring yeah. the end times upon the exactly. Holy oh, land. Hell yeah. It I says in the Bible, Bruce great B. white U. nation is, is going like to protect says, Israel. I want Zion to play us big like I think that's a great take. We're playing. It basketball. is fun. It is fun to think Twitter about that right the now. crusade started about a thousand years ago. And so technically, if the end times was correct, is the Armageddon has been going on since, you know, we waged war. Dude, I'm just saying, if you <laughs> look at the scene, right? Why are you tattled? What do I even why If you, you look at Ronald Wilson Reagan, dude, and you, dude, then you break down the letters, the so six <laughs> letters in each of those names. Uh. Fat boys need rings. I agree. Zion is such a is such a tribute to big boy season, dude. Mm -hmm. It would be funny Joker if the Antichrist died of dementia. Mm. That would be funny. Yeah. Uh, Did I you agree. see him go in his old age, being like, oh. <laughs> dude? My grandparents Wait, made. Was me. I supposed to? Was I supposed to turn everyone evil or something? <laughs> That's like one of my worst memories fuck? as a kid. My fucking step grandfather was a cop, and he made us watch the Reagan funeral for like four hours on TV. I remember it being on TV. Yeah. I, had, yeah. I saw oh, I it. forgot. Yeah, it was I awful. Brought, I I wanted... brought Racine's obsessed with Israel Palestine. Mm. Yeah, so I just think, uh, you know, I don't like these Jews, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I assume this new Twitter follower I got is from this. Yes. Right <laughs> yes, that Molested is. Molested ass N word. <laughs> Uh, yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, <laughs> shout, shout out to him. Hey, molested ass N word. Shout out. Rasheen is not that ugly. <laughs> He's wilding in there with his boondocks avatar. Uh, LeBron's like, you guys, I paid you to give me more free throws, and now it's a one possession game. <laughs> oh my God, LeBron. He is. He's like. He is like Drake. Yeah, he supported Drake in the rap feud with uh, Kendrick. Uh, smart. Smart. Well, because yeah, well, caught. after after uh, Drake bowed out of the feud where he got called out for hiding a child. Yeah, he went on LeBron's show on oh, HBO. That's right. And he was like, "Yeah, it was it was best of 
that you took the high road there. Well, he was like, I'm that was the funniest bitch. I forgot about this. It was, it wasn't like, I'm so sorry I disappointed you, LeBron. I was like, this is the biggest L anyone's Dude, ever the taken. gay shit I've ever seen. But for some reason, like, Drake gets away with doing that shit all the time. Because he's handsome and girls like and, him. Yeah, and LeBron God's gets plan. away with like making up narratives, like the whole coming home thing. Oh my God! Where, which, by the way, you know that song? I, I was just re-listening to it. Guess who? You know who the uh, the artist is? You know that I'm coming home. You know that whole yeah yeah. It was a P Diddy song. Nice. <laughs> How <laughs> awesome is that campaign now? <laughs> LeBron used a Diddy song to be like, "I'm going back." <gasps> oh, missed it. Oh my God! Pussy. Eighty rebound though. That was that was a great. Wow. Movie playoffs dude it's it's so different from the regular season oh this yeah. was an incredible regular season honestly yeah. like i watch a lot of re- it's no in-season tournament but it's yeah pretty intense. i watched a lot of great basketball I don't see how that's a foul to be honest well it happened in los angeles yeah lakers. Say, it happened against the lakers so. <laughs> he, I mean, he's playing through a headache adam silver yeah. adam silver's <laughs> in yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have to consider prior injuries like a yeah. headache exactly. yeah no, Adam Silver's in the ref's earpiece, like, do it now. Do it now. Make the call. <laughs> he got fouled. No, do it in his actual voice. This, uh, make the call. Make the call, please. <laughs> I'm going to make so much more money if LeBron is in the playoffs. <laughs> I wouldn't play with the headache if I were Anthony. How about Opie and Anthony Davis? Oh, that's Davis. good. <laughs> <laughs> How would that go? How would that go? Uh, it would be a lot funnier if Opie Anthony. It would be a lot funnier if Anthony Cumi was talking to Anthony. Yeah, Davis. yeah, yeah right. way funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Opie and Carmelo Anthony. Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I sent this to Matt. I think, but uh, they unearthed the video that that James Dolan made to try to get LeBron to go to the Knicks. Oh, yeah. that's great. That Dude, was great. It's, uh, Tony Soprano's last performance he's like come where the fuck is Whitney's last and greatest <laughs> and th- he's like we gotta go over to the we gotta we gotta get LeBron over to Bay <laughs> <laughs> and then and then James Dolan does testimonies from his friends which are Alec Baldwin uh, uh Donald, Donald Trump. Trump and Harvey Weinstein <laughs> that's so sick <laughs> the event three heroes <laughs> dude I watch a whole it's so and Rudy's in it too it's just like you watch the whole thing I only uh, saw the part I with the, I, I, kind of, I skimmed through who was in it. Media. I just wanted to see who was in it. And uh, everyone, every single time I was like, when Harvey came in, it was like a jump scare. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Hey, LeBron, but, hey, LeBron might over. be a pedophile. Well, dude, I mean, say what you want against Harvey Weinstein, but what is the 20th anniversary of Kill Bill 2? You know what? Yeah, that's, that's not what happening saying. without the Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Because he's not around. Yeah. We, I, I and him. that's the, the same is true about children's television. Everybody watched a fucking Quiet on the Set, and they're like, oh, well, mm-hmm. they shouldn't allow pedophiles yeah. to make children's TV. Dude, I was watching but Quiet on Set, and I was like... Pedophiles know what's tantalizing content for children. Yeah. They really know how to get the kids' gears going. When I watched Quiet on Set, I thought, damn... Dan Schneider made a lot of really good TV shows. Dude, you never, you never see <laughs> anything with like cool, sexy fucking summer camps anymore. No. You never see any good shit yeah. with like, oh, dude, the girls' many, room. You know how many hot girls were on Zoe wow, that's high praise, Raphael. Dude. Jamie Lynn Spears, Victoria Justice. You got the fucking women that he I don't even know their name. <laughs> Dan Schneider discovered Ariana Grande. Yeah, That's yeah. True, yeah. The guy's uh, got an eye for and, talent. And yeah. Olivia Rodrigo too. The right? hottest child ever. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, let's not right. go too when far. I said, yeah. Keep your voice down. It's on stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Have my, let's not have my neighbor here. The hottest child ever. <laughs> well, she's like the the most perpetual child because she's actually I'm kind sure. of aging now, and she looks like dog shit. I'm really? Sure, yeah. Actually. Ariana Grande is starting to look bad. Well, the whole thing are, was that she looked like a teenager in her early right. twenties. Like her and Pete Davidson world, both look like high school. In schoolers. the world of like children's television, and you need like scouts, which I am. Who better? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting. If, it. I'm, if I'm a baseball team, trying to tap I in. Get the best scout. By the way, that's what my uh, counselor said in Boy Scouts. Yeah. I gotta get the best scout. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, pedophiles would probably make the best scouts yeah. for young town and scout counselors. Well, dude, they, they know what to look for. They know what's documentary. Not the one that came out recently. But the one came out like five years ago. Do you remember that? About- oh, oh, yeah, an open secret. Open secret, yeah, yeah where it yeah. literally was. It I was, was such a Dan Schneider hipster. I was like, I already know all this fucking shit. I know <laughs> yeah. about Brian Peck. Yeah. I know about all these fucking well, people. I didn't it, know was, about- it was boring. If you watch a quiet on set, it was actually just a lot of like, he was mean. To I know, me. I he didn't first- like women. I it was like, the first okay. episode. Actually, Dan Schneider's a beast. Yeah. Is what I learned from that. 
I was like, I guess he didn't molest anybody. If he did a full documentary, he didn't get anyone saying he fucked them. Dude, in worst case scenario, Whoa, he's, nah, he's Ellen sick. DeGeneres. But too little, too late. Actually, they maybe got not. three seconds. They're like, he made a I've woman pretend shit. to be getting fucked during a line read. It's like based. Oh, no, oh. no, no. They fouled him. Yeah, they got to just <laughs> try and get the That's, ball back. Damn, dude, that was a crazy. I, I can't tell if he flopped or if he got another headache. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he didn't get another headache. He already had Dude, one. Austin Reeves, when he's right next to AD, I'm like, is that that? It just it looks just like a Bushwick guy and his bodega guy. It does. <laughs> it totally does. My friend Joey, everyone check out Round Ball Rock. Or really, besides, after you, don't change from this one because this is the funniest basketball podcast. But a friend of mine does one called Round Ball Rock, and he said, uh, it, Austin Reeves looks like a cart- like a like a Disney character. He's like, oh, a cricket in my pocket. Like, yeah, he like, looks like a fucking Christopher Robin or something. Is AD is he fucking African American or is he from the Levant? Austin Reeves? No, AD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, is, is Austin Reeves fucking? Yeah, yeah. Black? Austin, what if Austin Reeves opens about like, I am Austin Reeves. <laughs> I was I, in, I had my skin burned off in a you? South Africa accident. Anthony Davis, why will you not pass me the ball? Raphael, <laughs> thank you for bringing it back. Yeah, no evidence against. Thank you. Uh, free Dan Schneider. That's the uh, that's the philosophy. Yeah, part. dude. If anything, fucking uh, Drake Bell came out and was like, "Yeah, I was getting fucked in the ass." By the way, the only guy who's cool about it is Dan Schneider, and yeah. literally the only person I could go to that I could trust this is Dan Schneider. By the way, everyone, oh. Oh, that would uh, sick. That's sick. It was over. Like, okay, so Pelicans, Warriors, everybody. Crop well, your seat. You know Lakers what? I will give this. Nuggets. I got to give this to the Lakers. They tried it's to big win. TVD. Honestly, yeah. I thought they were going to throw it. Yeah. I, I legitimately, I was so, call me a doomer, but I'm, you know what? Like, I will never, ever say this again. Salute to Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis, one of the toughest performances I've ever seen in my life. Is, is oh Drew gave us two bucks. Zion nice. didn't come back. Dude, thank you, Drew. No, two yeah, bucks. that may be the difference. Zion did that come could back. be a big oh, difference yeah, on Friday. Sure. Oh shit! Did he get hurt? Yeah. I would not wish ill on anybody, but I hope he fucking got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're if we, now. If we win, if we win, I don't now know. you're a big anti-Zionist. I am, dude. I am, dude. Suddenly you turn back to dude, these Pro Jewish Pro. devils need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually, you know it's what, actually is, was our land, and you guys turned it into an open air prison. You this know? is kind of a sick play. Into, this feels like football almost. This play in tournaments shit. Yeah, with one game. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. big, uh, uh, big, big stakes. It is nice to have a single game elimination in basketball. And, yeah, Adam Silver cooked with the play, the play in tournament, and yeah. also the West rules. So these, this is actually a sick play in, like. Yeah, and also on the East, there's there's the the Hawks Bulls one is gonna suck, but Sixers Heat is gonna be a yeah. good one. Uh, which is funny because like the four or five seeds above them are all shitty teams that I wouldn't care about. Yeah, but yeah. it was just weird circumstance because like Jimmy Butler no yeah. called no showed the whole regular season as usual, <laughs> and Embiid was out. So it's the seven yeah, the eight Heat the seven Sixers. eight game. That's gonna be like a great it's game. Weird that the Heat Sixers seems like it would be a good playoff what do you think series. Of the chances the Bucks trade. Lillard to the Heat. If, ooh, ooh. If, if the Heat make ooh. it longer in the playoffs, do you think that they get? I think Damian if they Lillard? lose in the first round, I think that's a big possibility. Who do or, they get? Or, who are they looking to get? Back? Imagine, imagine taking like firing your coach towards it. Not even. Yeah, but who do they get though? Towards the end of the season. That's anymore. Who are the Heat giving up? Just a bunch of shooters. Tyler, Tyler Hero, Hero, Kevin Love, Tyler yeah. Hero, Heroes. I, I would actually see Giannis leap before Dame. Honestly, I think Dame might be stuck. No, a lot they'll, of people blow it up. they'll blow it shoot. up and mm. get draft picks or whatever. Right, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I don't see them blowing it up. But if they... Hey, Giannis yeah, or trading, Dame are going to leave. Well, if, Giannis, Giannis, if Giannis, Giannis threatens to leave, then they'll blow Yeah, but if they're trading Lillard and they get, like, Hero and, like, a few shooters... That's maybe... Yeah, something. maybe if they could get fucking... No, they would have to do a total rebuild if they traded either one of them. I, I don't know. You could, Duncan you, you Robinson, could, you could Max Struess, like, you know, the real high IQ players. Is Max Struess still in the they, they could trade... They could do, like, a three-way and get Trey Young, because I think Trey Young wants out of Atlanta. Yeah. yeah so they yeah, could yeah. swap Dame for Trey. I could see that. That'd be I mean, worth is it. Is Trey going to be That would more, actually make a lot more sense. Is Trey more yeah. of a fit than That'd be Dame? Better. They're similar yeah. players. Well, that's the thing. Is, yeah, Trey needs to be the best player on the team. Same with yeah. Dame. So I don't know. Trey, Trey's I don't know a what better Giannis, facilitator. Know who the fuck can play with Giannis though? Trey's a better facilitator than Dame is. Dame is yeah a great player and a good shooter, but I I think that Trey is a better playmaker. Sure, sure. 
I don't know though. I, I, his teammates don't seem to like him very much. I think a lot of them think he's kind of a ball hog because he's got some good teammates, but they're just so mid. Yeah. Well, maybe they don't like him because he does seem like oh kind God. of fag. Trey, Trey Young. Yeah. yeah. Trey it is, is balling. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best game It doesn't annoy ever. the shit out of me. We went to the uh, Knicks-Hawks playoff game. When, like, the Trey Young beef started. The Trey is balding chant yeah. started. The most we arbitrary just, hatred of anyone ever. We were yeah. just going to boo the person on the other team. And then yeah, we, did, exactly. we just walked around MSG after the game for like an hour and just watched people. We would just bump into other people in Nick shirts Ooh, and just question. yell, yeah, Trey is balls. <laughs> That's a great question, Pat Rose. Suns or Wolves? I don't know. I, th- I think the Suns might have it just because the Wolves don't have as much experience. But the Wolves are deeper. And <sighs> But you know what? No, Suns. I, because yeah. Suns. Minnesota's whole de- defense is forcing people to mid-ranges. And who has the best mid-range? KD. Kevin Durant. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm taking the Suns. I'm taking the Suns on that. I have to say, between the Suns and the Wolves, I, is Cap, the is I would love, is, personally, on a personal level, because I have like a weird hatred Cap's for bag. them, is, I yeah. would love for the Wolves to lose early. Oh, me too. Why do you really? hate the Wolves? Why do you hate the I, Wolves? They stink. They, we had like a, a weird run in with them multiple times, the Warriors. Yeah. Kept running into them, and the it was like very everybody. annoying. I'm so excited. Um, Sam Van Gundy on the call. I oh, like no. I like Anthony Edwards, but I don't like Rudy Gobert. Oh, I hate Rudy Gobert. I like Carl so, Anthony Towns. Is he playing or is I he out? Don't like Carl Anthony. Anthony. I thought I liked Carl Anthony Towns, but he's he seems like grown a good guy into someone that I dislike. Yeah, there's my goat. Nice there's stuff. my goat. Oh, I'm so excited. I love maybe Anthony maybe when he broke fucking Kevin Durant's chest. You remember that he like broke one of Kevin oh, Durant's, Durant's ribs flopped onto him. Yeah, yeah. That happens all the time. People flop there on the Kevin is. Durant. Draymond Green. Yeah, Durant said Go. something recently about Go. like he's like I've got injured twice because yeah, people so Malik Monk is out, and I apparently that he's the six man. Of, he was the six man of the year. They were saying before his injury, so that could fuck them. Steve um, Kerr, I'm a big fan of his son. Yeah, Nick Kerr. <laughs> By the way, so you guys see, he, so Steve is coaching uh, the Olympic team. Yeah, they just added Kawhi today. Yeah, that's oh, gonna be that's fucking sick. really fun. Yeah, KD, LeBron, Steph, and Kawhi on the same team. And That'd AD. be sick. Hope AD doesn't get a headache because he got yeah. hydrated on that plane ride over to Paris. Oh, jet lag could get him out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. AD, AD's out of the Olympics because of jet lag. Mm. <laughs> you just see like on his what's Instagram, a, what's he's like, in front of the Eiffel there? Tower. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh my god. I really hope this is not because like I had like stress about like is this gonna be the last time I ever see Clay Thompson in a Warriors jersey. That's like my full Doomer mentality. You get to see him in a Knicks jersey, though. <laughs> According to Stephen A. Yeah. I think the Knicks would love to have Clay Thompson. We should trade for him. <laughs> I I think Clay will take a pay cut and just stay. Yeah, he cannot retire as a Warrior. How old is he? 35? 36. Yeah. They're all going to sign two-year extensions and uh, retire together. It's going to be so great. That'd and be I, beautiful. I Oh, Draymond. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I'm calling if it Draymond, now. If Draymond's <laughs> hot from three, it's over. So Draymond Is actually, it because they they lost the most important game of my life when Dre was his hottest from three? Yeah. Oh, response. That was nice. Yeah, it's, this is going to be good. They both want to win so bad. Draymond actually has the best three-point percentage on the team. The second best three-point percentage on the team. Really? Yeah. That was Dre. beautiful. Whoa. I was wondering how we'd be in the playoffs. That is fucking stellar. That was fucking awesome. Welcome back to the Draymond Green Companion Podcast. Yeah, the he Draymond preview, Green Show. He did a preview on his podcast last night as if he's like Kendrick Perkins or something. Like as if he's like one of the podcast guys. He's like, here's my predictions for the e- <laughs> well, What did he pick? Uh, for this? Is that your All impression right. of Draymond? No, it was like, no, Draymond's more like... Oh, man, yeah. man, she, she. <laughs> it's like, here's, here's my Draymond impression. You know, here's a, here's a, I, I think we're going to win against the Kings. Do, 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 it's a bonus, it's a boner. <laughs> ah, great. An- another classic Steph defensive performance, everybody. <laughs> he looks like a red panda defending himself. He's like, what, 60? Wow. How, how are you going to call a technical on me? This is going to be the highest rating play in game, and it should be. It's already fucking cinema. Look at this. Which is funny because both, nice. of, the markets, both of the markets watching are from five it's miles Northern away Ca- from each other. Yeah. Yeah, I swear to God, Northern California is carrying the NBA. Like the, the, the highest rated um, 
All Star thing was Steph versus Sabrina, and they're both Bay Area people. Yeah, yeah. I also will say they carry the NFL because you know who's from the Bay Area is Tom Brady and Brock Purdy. Oh, or no, yeah. he's not from there, but and Brock Turner. You got the fun Brock <laughs> Turner. No, he was just visiting from like Ohio or some oh, okay. shit. Isn't Joe Montana from San Francisco? He played. He's not there. from there, but he's yeah. Oh, he, he played, played there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah, yeah. played there and still he lives still there. there. And Jerry Rice played there and still hangs out like all right. Did I tell you this, Miguel? What? Every time I go home, uh, my family, my hometown, Jerry Rice is in that hotel, just like in the lobby, like trying to be seen. Hell yeah, trying yeah. To fuck I just remember, like, dude, a, he's like he's like trying to be seen and talked to. He's like in a flashy clothes. Joe, I like Joe Jerry. Montana. I ran into at a Home Depot really? one time, and he was like fleeing attention. He does not really? like when people talk. To I him. think Jerry likes it. Jerry apparently, really likes like, it. apparently like Jerry, Montana's he's an a, asshole. He's a black guy with an Asian Montana last name. Or Rice? <laughs> wait, wait, he's an asshole. Uh, Montana. Well, I just I, I just, see that. Yeah, I, I I have a million. A lot of my friends have Jerry Rice stories. I don't know anyone, and I have friends with Steve Young stories. I don't know anyone with a Montana story. Yeah, yeah. I just remember like Young's just like a nice Mormon. Finding out about who Joe Montana is, finding out he's like a cool all American guy, and then like not understanding how he could play in San Francisco because I thought that was gay. By the way. Uh, <laughs> By the way, Wait, all- Joe Montana is cool. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, what? Way, I'm, I'm adding all American to our list of things people say for just a white player. Yeah. <laughs> all American. Yeah, yeah. All American. An all American player, as opposed to Jerry Rice, who's more of a thug. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Rice coming off in traffic once, and I guarded his son playing basketball. That's crazy. Those are my Jerry Rice stories. Borat voice. Jerry Rice. <laughs> Jerry right. Rice. We're watching a Wingstop commercial, which E40 has a stake in, I've heard. Mm-hmm. I've heard, speaking of the Bay Area. And Starry. Oh, yeah, they got Ice Spice. And E40 oh, used to own Fat Burger before he ran that into the ground. E40 is very bad at owning franchises, yeah, I think. I think not, actually, not a great business. I think he actually man. sold his Wingstop shares, and they, like, took off after that. To Zion Williamson. Oh, uh, yeah. Last, so the last Kings game, yeah, someone threw a chicken wing into the crowd. I, I, we <laughs> talked about that earlier. I forgot if we talked about it on the stream or not, but yeah. The someone, Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento Kings. <laughs> Kings. The Sacramento, if Zion was on the team, we'd be the Sacramento, Sacramento Burger, Burger Kings. Kings. <laughs> <laughs> the think? Sacramento original Kings of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zion yeah. is Bernie Big Mac. Jerry Rice. So I have a friend. I don't follow football as hard, but one of my Niners, my I have a friend who like follows the Niners really closely. Yeah, he makes an argument for Jerry Rice being the greatest football player of all time. He's probably the greatest receiver of all time, and there could be an argument for just greatest football player. Well, generally, he's people, the most dominant in his position to the point that no one like, else. Yeah, people best receiver ever. It's kind of a open and shut case, and no right. other position really has. Maybe Tom Brady, a quarterback now. Do you think Mahomes but, is going to overtake Tom Brady? Mahomes maybe overtakes him. <laughs> yeah. But overall, yeah, Jerry Rice is kind of the, one of the only positions in football where everyone kind of agrees who the best of that position is. I really hope not. I really hope that, like, something, like, tragic or horrible happens to Patrick Mahomes so he doesn't get to have, like, a really great career. <laughs> I, I only like Mahomes yeah. because they asked him what uh, athlete he's most like, and he said Steph Curry, so now I like him. That's so sick. Honestly, I don't want anything more tragic to happen to him than having Jackson as a brother and Brittany as a wife. That was also a crazy <laughs> thing to say when they were up against the Niners. They were like, what athlete would you most compare yourself to? And he said Steph Curry. And that was like after like Kittle. Did, they were did, all hanging did out he mean, like the night before. Did he mean because like he's light skinned and people can't really tell if he's black or not? Yeah, right. He was literally like, yeah, I'm half white and I win a lot. I like, like another I'm the captain do- of a dynasty. I like another dominant athlete who people aren't sure if they can say the N word or not. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I guess Travis Kelsey is his Draymond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just the loud mouth who sucks up all the attention. <laughs> yeah. Draymond needs to date a pop star. Draymond would never. Oh, dude, can you imagine? Draymond beats the shit out of Katy Perry. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, so I, Dude, I Draymond I, I is probably a, such a good lover. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's probably such a good husband. Dude, I, heard, such a I call him Draymond. So fresh, so clean. Uh, but I guarded Jerry Rice Jr. and I played basketball. Wow. Andrew Wiggins missing layups. He's Whoa, locked, he's at least locked in. Now. King's dribbling off their foot. <laughs> when, yeah. when I I know it's gonna be a bad game, and Wiggins is like head is in the clouds, and he looks like Joe Missoula. Uh, oh, that pass! That not a real nice. point guard. Not a real point guard. That was. 
Oh, oh. Uh, is that Clay? Clay yeah, Clay to Trace. Yeah. They got a connection because uh, his brother has the same name. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he has <laughs> a big crush on Trace. He does. He calls him. Yeah, he loves Trace. They had a little uh, nice. mini. They had a little mini Lob City thing going on. Uh, well, Clay and Trace when they're on the bench tonight. Apparently. Well, now they work their back in the starters lineup, and it's harder when you're against the starters. I knew the Kings were going to play. They're you know cool. what? Bring Kaminga out. I'm done with it. <laughs> Bring out the cum bucket. Yeah, let's get let's get Chris Paul and Kaminga. Oh my God. There. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Oh my God. Yeah, the Warriors do not stand a chance in this playoff series, dude. Maybe they do. I don't know. This is. It's the first quarter, dude. Oh, Whoa. shit. Oh, put back, baby. Uh, I hate that guy. Fuck that. Fuck you. Oh, dude, that's basketball. Fuck Sacramento. I think he's getting a put back and we cut to a guy in sunglasses right, and a straw yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> their two, two good players in their starting lineup are going to tire themselves out, and then our bench is going to come through. This might just be copium, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> please don't lose the sack. If they get eliminated by Sacramento. Oh, be... good pass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Kerr's like, I knew I shouldn't have trusted this fucking rookie. He's a real my son. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> but what does Stan Van Gundy think? That's what I need to know. Ugh. Oh, King's brutal. looking good. They're not looking good. They just want to win this game really bad because they want to send the. They're like, our season's over. All we want is to send the Warriors home. This is all they're playing for. Trace is looking pretty locked in, though, for a rookie in a fucking huge game. Oh, never mind. I take it back. That wasn't his fault. That was a bad lob. Yeah. Open three. Is that in? No. No. Nice. Good. Damn. Did they just reverse heat check Murray? Yeah, they (laughs) did. They dared him to take it. Yeah, they left him on. They said, "Mm, why don't you miss one, dumbass? (laughs) Good. Ugh, that mid range is nasty. I don't trust a black. Guy I love named, a nice a black guy named Keegan. That doesn't make no yeah. sense. Unless you're Unless doing you're a sketch Keegan show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're named Keegan Michael Keel and you want to hire me, Michael Jordan Peel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wiggs. We need if Wiggs is locked in, the team does well. You called exactly how many points in that last game I texted you. Oh, yeah. There's the amount of points. He scores. got 17 and he said he's not going <laughs> to score another point. And then I text you after he is. Exactly it's like 17. if he gets 17 to 20 points, you said they win. No, he said he's not going to score another point. I swear. Yeah. And then he didn't. <laughs> but there's like there's <laughs> a rage. He's, he's like, oh, pods is in. All right. We're OK. Back. There we go. Oh, Kaminga, too. Huh? All right. Wow. Kerr is making, you know, Sabonis is Jewish. No way. Really? Yeah, he converted for his wife. Oh, he converted. Oh, he yeah. converted yeah. But he's like, I love Judaism. So he's like super into being Jewish. He's he's uh, European, though. So he had to get his dick snipped later in life. Huh? Oh, oh, oh you're right. He's yeah. probably a Zionist. Yeah. <laughs> Simonis might be Jewish, but Zion is the truth. <laughs> but if he's she like, must be hot. She must have those like real Jew titties. Oh, yeah. dude, been there, dude. Oh, no way man. I'm going to cut the skin off my penis for it a girl. Be Kat Denning's ass looking wait, good. Wait, wait. <laughs> Miguel, are you uncircumcised? No, I was. But I'm, Europeans, I they like having circumcised to, as a child. Europeans yeah, 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 like they'll yeah, yeah. they'll do like an <sighs> extra neck. I, they you know, my my parents determined my covenant with God as a young boy. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> a normal. Way. Oh, how did he miss that? Christ. Also, well, this lineup is very strange. <gasps> no, nope. but these pods. These come Euro on, facts. rescue the game, pods. Come on. Let's turn this offense to an all-American oh, offense. Manga. Manga, low b-ball IIQ. Oh, nice. I love that he hit the exact same move he was trying to do and yeah. drilled it. Damn, Keegan Murray is carrying the Kings right now. Oh, the Aaron Fox. Yeah, Fox is. I knew Fox was gonna have a hot night. I need the uh, dude. This is crazy. They're, I knew they play lights out. It's so early, dude. Is there an arena called the Golden One? Yeah, Center? the Golden One Center. I don't. I, Fuck whatever. that. Bring back Sleep Train. <laughs> <laughs> it was Sleep Train. I forgot about that. In my head, whatever I first know a stadium as, is what it, to me, it's always Arco Arena. Yeah, we we're saying that. Packed no, up hard. nice. Yeah. Jesus, just bullied him. 
Oh my god. Yeah, this is brutal. Stomp I'll, on him, Draymond. I respect the trans person's pronouns before I respect the stadium left, changing everybody. their name. Oh my god. If if Sacramento gets the Oakland A's and the Warriors this season. Well, the Oakland A's are only there for like two years until they build. No, the no, he's trying Vegas. to snake it, though. Oh, you think the, he's trying to really so, make so it? So Vivek is banking on the Vegas deal completely falling through so then he could just have a, a baseball. But they only, it might. It they might they, fall they, through. They only have a minor league stadium in Sacramento. He'll oh. fucking build one. Okay. He'll build a fucking major league stadium. Or he'll just have a major league team in a minor league stadium until they can build up the fucking audience. Yeah. Don't. Don't teams play? But I guess maybe not in baseball. But he's like, Indian. He's the, trying to make it. <laughs> the Arizona, oh, the Coyotes, the hockey team. They play it like a. They've been yeah for a couple, but they're relocating next year. They're they, be, they're next year they announced the they're going to they're gonna be in Salt Lake City See, next yeah, year. Here's what happened: the Vegas is going to fall through. The Vegas is going to announce they're we're going to be in building. Salt Lake City. They're moving out of Arizona. Yep, because yep. the Kings have heat. Now. That's what we were saying. It'd be funny if they keep the Coyotes, because then the two pro sports teams in Utah would be the Jazz and the Coyotes, just teams. That moved for somewhere else and were named <laughs> no, named it no something sense. from somewhere else and they just keep the name. <laughs> hey, bye, Larry. Thanks for stopping by. When... Yo, shout out, Larry. I'll catch you later. I'm gonna golf with him this weekend. Really? In yeah. Philly? In uh, Wildwood. Oh yeah. So the... why? Did, I have a question. Why do you and your dad and your girlfriend go to a steakhouse in like the middle of Jersey? Uh, my dad does like consultation for the one of the trucking shit out of the port in jersey oh so does he, he lives in jersey no he lives in california oh okay okay he, oh he does just for thing. work okay gotcha and, gotcha yeah apparently they all at this place know this steakhouse is like just the best steakhouse yeah and, I, I googled it once you told it, was, it, it was, is so good i want to go so good you gotta I was go. like i don't know how i'm ever gonna fucking get there <laughs> Go it looked good. I, I look. I'm a, I'm a foodie, so I'm down Would to. Someone tell- I'm down to make a trip sometime. Dude, I'm down. I'm down. I down. can I, be convinced. I'll it is your, my favorite steak place. All right, Matt, you want you want to make a price- steak trip? Yeah, I'm down. All good, right. good Sick. prices, and what, then also yeah. just the best tasting steak that I've. What had. is it? Is it a steakhouse? Yeah, yeah but it's like, it's like uh, Miguel said it was the best steakhouse he's ever been. I to. I mean, I'm honestly, I'm like, I love Texas Roadhouse steak. It's not, it's not Wait, like so, uh, yeah, steaks. It's yeah, good. they do it's got not good like steak. A table so, so I'm not, I don't shitty, need like a expensive Ruth, steak. I don't it's, need like a Ruth Chris or anything like and that. Like, no. Hold on, says Tim Dillon says though he's like. A chain steakhouse is always the best steakhouse. Let's so. just say for Texas Roadhouse, some of the hottest waitresses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone you go to, the they hot, got yeah. fucking hot. Dudes mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I've had this debate before. What do we say? There's the three main pre-meal breads. There's the Olive Garden breadsticks, I just Texas that Roadhouse the rolls, the yeah. Yeah. Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuits. Uh, you got it. Yeah. 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 I think, uh, I think I the Texas that Texas Roadhouse rolls are my favorite. Texas Roadhouse rolls good with the yeah. apple butter. Uh, Bica. Yes. Chad, is that true that what? you love Texas Loadhouse? Uh, let me see who has said that, dude. No, <laughs> fucking, uh, <laughs> all right, look. So I can DM me privately, okay? I'm a foodie, Robbie. Th- no, I love that I'm a foodie makes people think I'm gay, not being like, hey, so these hot pieces of ass at Texas Roadhouse, <laughs> male waiters. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, but caught being a saying of you're a foodie, that's what makes you gay. Well, yeah. that is Sounds actually, like a bunch of uncultured swine in the chat. <laughs> yeah, dude. Your San Francisco showing, dude. You got to be careful. I know, I know. Pods, let's go. I, uh, one time. Oh, my God, dude. One All time. Right. Looney, uh, Loon this- dog, Loon goat. He locked up some. Oh, oh no. that's pretty. Oh, foul. Nice foul. That, that was, was crazy. A good foul. Yeah. But yeah, even I've done. Yeah, the chain steakhouses I've done, they're good. JR's, Outback. They're all solid steaks, I think. They're but fine. I have. But this I have. Place, trust me, this place yeah. is in between because it is a steakhouse, but it's not like a real. It's like a towny bar of steakhouse. Yeah. No tablecloths, no like fancy. It's yeah. like there's like guns as decorations on the yeah. wall. Yeah. Like. It every person in there looks dirty. Yep, but just like the best fucking. When I have gone to like legit steakhouse, they're good. But I just I think I like Texas Roadhouse steak more than even the steakhouse chains. I don't I don't like a real steak. Like an expensive steak never actually tastes as good as it should. Well, once it, I feel like once you're spending so much, I'm only thinking about how much I spent. It needs, but so it needs it's got to be that me much better. Never is. If I had a I blind it. taste test, I might pick the more expensive one. 
But if I know I'm spending that much more for it, I do like at Texas Roadhouse, I fall for it every time where they'll like let you pick your own steak to just charge you more. Yeah. But as soon as they give me the option, I'm like, I get to pick my own steak. Yeah. I'll do that. Like, let me hey, get that, that one. That one looks good. They know we're too stupid. To yeah. <laughs> and then I see the check. I'm like, wait, I got charged more. Oh, yeah, they got fuck. me. Jeez, so the Warriors just can't get fucking their asses whooped. It's looking like it. I got a great Texas Roadhouse story. Yeah, I was at, yeah, I was with this girl. I met her at Walmart, and uh, it was no, like steps back. Forget it. Two weeks before I was going to go off to Kuwait when I was in the army, yeah. and so we fucking went to Texas Roadhouse. I had a bunch of those deep fried pickles that they have. Yeah, and we came back, dude, and she went down on me, and then she fucking went down and she vomited all over. <laughs> <laughs> they were like half eaten fucking pickles. I had to like run to the fucking bathroom oh, and like shower God. myself off. I was like drunk as shit, dude. Just I was like fucking, you know, it was probably two weeks before I could go back to Texas uh, Roadhouse. Two weeks. <laughs> sorry, about two weeks. <laughs> All two weeks. Yeah, it was probably two weeks. Also, man. as far as the cocktail, the, the, I forgot it, like Southern Whiskey Long Island Iced Tea they have. It's like, because uh, I love the, uh, I love either like, Give me like a double shot of like scotch bourbon or the fruity. No way. Did you see, wait, you see oh. that steel? Damn. So mm-hmm. I, lo- I love all the chain restaurant like cocktails. Yeah. And that's the best combination of like, it's got like flavor and it's just whisk. Uh, that's like my favorite chain restaurant cocktail. Best cocktail to me is Manhattan. Yeah, I don't think yeah. So you you can do new stuff, but it's like ultimately like what's better than that? Yeah, it's my I'm old fashioned. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, 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 very similar. Um, and then yeah, it'll be like old fashioned, and then I'll do all the like foodie, the like screwdriver. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, I love all those. That was another thing I thought because like Sex in the City, I thought like martinis were gay, and then yeah. like the first time I had a martini, I was like, oh, this gets you fucked up. Yeah, holy shit. I'm not, any of the those cocktails that have vermouth, I'm always kind of like. Yeah, they're fine, but there's always one I would like more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm big on the uh, tequila sunrise. Um, what? Uh, my mom always got apricot sours, so I tried one once, and I was like, "This is actually really good." Yeah, I like uh, I like apple teeny. Yeah, so like anything that gets you drunk. Oh is my good. god, kill me! I was uh, <laughs> kill me. <laughs> I was on a cruise ship once, and they started. They were giving uh, out fuzzy. Oh, Crazy as one boy saved me. They were serving fuzzy navels. It's orange juice and peach schnapps. And that became like one of my favorite (gasps) drinks. Steal it, Pods. But I always always feel so gray asking for a fuzzy navel. That's what we call a guy with a a blue guy. He's unselfish. Just great fundamentals. Hustle. Blue collar. That's what we call him. He hit the ground. That's a guy I could call anything but a gym rat. You can't call him a gym rat. (laughs) I think they're not going to play Trace anymore. Because uh, I, I think one he kind of bad... fucked up the first seven minutes. Yeah, they're not going to not play him anymore. That's not a kidding? foul. Fuck off, dude. No, it's jump ball. Uh, oh, <laughs> Pods versus Fox, the shortest jump ball of all time. <laughs> the black the guy most, is shorter. This but is amazing. The black guy is shorter, a but the other foot... guy is white. Yeah. This is so. Black guy won. Oh, yeah, not shorter surprised. black guy won. That's crazy because Pods actually is really good at rebounding. For yeah, but what do Fox. they have in their calves that makes them jump so high? An extra, I think it's an extra bow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Jonah who said that. Uh, <laughs> and by they, he meant basketball players. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Kaminga, he can't shoot. I wasn't just talking yeah, about guys in my local gym. Fade away. The teenagers you play basketball. Yeah, I wasn't talking about this guy that's five ten that embarrasses me yeah. regularly. <laughs> oh, Chris Paul's in. Okay, thank oh, God. Okay. I mean, this is what we got him for, right? Playoff experience. Oh wow! Well, See, did set up. Kaminga. I haven't seen him run that fast all season. Oh. Hey. I like how Draymond always seems to stick his butt backwards when he shoots. He literally <laughs> always shoots like he has a backpack on. All right, Pods, let's go. All right, we have Draymond, Chris Paul, and Pods out there. Thompson. No. They look good. That was a good look. Oh, this is fucking awful. Nice. Good play. Okay. What they call? What they call? They call that a foul? 
What was the foul there? He tripped over himself. I'm pissed off. More like the Queens with all this foul baiting. Yeah. That's, wow. What that the, was yeah, there's no travel there. He just fell on himself. Oh, my God. God fucking darn it. What? It's still the first quarter. I know. But still, oh, but the nice. All right. Warriors the look like dog shit right yeah, now. Yeah, they don't it look doesn't, good at all. He's tried three different lineups so far. They, they all look like ass. Yeah, yeah. Kerr is kind of just throwing shit at the wall right now. See, here's the problem with elimination games with the Warriors is Kerr needs one quote unquote feel out game. Yeah. So he's basically doing a feel out quarter right now to know what like lineups to play. Are you Jonah as a Lakers fan? Are you anti Golden State? Uh, I mean, oh, no. There we go. Good. There we go. That's Draymond. I mean, I suppose I'm just anti Golden State because of basketball. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, historically, hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Because of basketball? Well, you know, dude, because of like 2017 and like fucking, uh, they cheated and stuff. They did you not cheat. Cheated. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no. you guys cheated. Yeah, I'm making super. That how pisses the fuck me did, off. How the fuck? How the, how the Golden State cheat in 2017? Uh, you know, you know who KD. literally cheated was LeBron when he went to Miami and then. Like with a wink and oh a nudge, my fucking God. that was a handshake classic deal Warriors. with was the classic. owner Dan Gilbert to be like, hey, yeah, le- the league is gonna give you two first number one draft picks in the next three years, and then I'm gonna come back. Here's how LeBron cheated. He was in the Eastern Conference his entire career, <laughs> yeah, which is a poverty conference. No, but I mean the the Dan Gilbert like, who, wrote who, his like any, letter any, about fuck LeBron in Comic Sans. Because he knew it was oh, literally yes. an inside oh, joke. We that. Oh, Ooh. my God. How'd they let that go? Uh, fuck, that sucks. If they're that good at rebounding, then we might not. Because we are our our, uh, our best What's shit happening? is rebounding. Uh, no, that was a know. weird instant replay sped up yeah. for some reason. We'll see what Draymond does in the fourth. By the way, <laughs> this game is already I, fucking really, cinema, by the way. The the Warriors, you really can't even pay attention to them play until the third quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Also, whoa, Chris Paul. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen him be that agile all year. He's like kind of turning it up already. Okay. Uh, he's missed okay. every it's, shot it he's taken. It could be worse. So. It could be worse. It's not good. It's actually kind of making me sad. I was really hoping this would be uh, <laughs> more of a... Thing is, I can't lose to Harrison Barnes. Robbie gets ghosted and the Warriors I lose know. on the same night. Yeah. yeah, Steph hits you with let's just be friends. <laughs> Honestly, might as well. Might as well get it all over with in one night. Because a heartbreaker in the Warriors is coming either tonight or Friday. That's how I kind of feel. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I guess my, but you know, what? I can't lose. I don't want to lose against the Kings. I'd like That'd to knock the bummer. Kings out. The it Pelicans, would be fun. I would. It would be fun to knock the Kings out. Is the only thing that we do in the postseason. Yeah. I like that. I liked that a lot last year. I would like to do it again. I, I can't. I can't live with the possibility that the Sacramento Kings ended Clay Thompson's uh, career with the Warriors. That made me so sad. The thing, too, is like I would be rooting for the Kings in any other situation. But there's something Dude, I'm, I'm that's thing like, like I was like last year, if they win that series, I'm going to root for the Kings after this because I'm I yeah. like I like the Kings. They I, hate us. I like some bonus. Like Kings. Yeah, so bonus is cool. The I bonus like is Fox. legitimately good. Dude, yeah. Fox is on the Curry brand. So it's like, you know what it is? It's Kings fans that ruin it, though, because they they just they have little well, brothers. Anyone syndrome. from Sacramento yeah. I know yeah. is just like a fucking See, heroin I addict. Them, I give them the excuse because they're all obviously on meth. Sack town. They're all they're wiggers. All, they're all, dude, it's wigger central, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the wigger central. But it's like wigger Mexicans, though. Also. Like, oh, they yeah, got well, well, it's white guys who talk like... Hey man, what you fucking doing, man? Yo, yeah. fuck the Warriors, yo! All they got out there is fucking Uyghurs and Mexicans. I don't like them. Don't need them. No how. It's funny there are no black people in Sacramento, but there there's are a lot none. of Mexicans yeah. and a lot of messed up white, yeah, a lot of worked up messed up white boys. Yeah. People forget once you fucking leave the coast of California, dude. It's just all fucked up. No, it's it's a red state except yeah. for the like 
the Bay Area and LA. And LA yeah. Yeah, have you made that have you made that um drive up from LA to San Francisco ever? Yeah, going through the uh Central the Valley. Five on the yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you just see so many farmers for Trump. So fans. many ranchero dudes out there too. Uh, so many yeah. that Congress called caused the dust bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the water no, thing. Yeah, you see some Trump one and you know it signs. Yeah. They, they, they just put out there because like, oh the liberals are gonna say this, you know. And it literally stinks like shit. Oh yeah, yeah. You, hear, you you smell cow shit you, you, for most of it. I love it. I kind of miss it. I can't wait to do it again. Oh man, it's great! That was you, a great. That's a great drive. You I, stop there, you get some in and out right where it stinks the I most, like cow ranch. shit. I always do Harris Ranch, and it's like in the e- exact midpoint between L.A. and uh, San Francisco. I told Jeremiah Watkins to do that because that's like what I've always done, and he was coming back from San Francisco to L.A. and he his opener texting me he's like it's not like cow shit why'd you tell us to go here <laughs> like, I don't, that's sorry, how you man. know that the beef I'm a is fucking as... californian yeah. oh, that's what i fucking know where to go yeah well it reminded me of anal sex i thought you guys would like that <laughs> <laughs> this game is cinema you know what a lot of you don't know ball Raphael. a lot of people say cinema it's a it's a, it's a reference to the scorsese me <laughs> are they fucker. calling you faggot for saying cinema yeah <laughs> yeah dude you're a foodie i'm a foodie <laughs> look i'm a foodie and i'm a cinephile <laughs> a pedophile yeah. yeah i've been accused of it <laughs> you're a cinephile you think movies that are under 18 years old sometimes look like they're a little older Boom. yeah <laughs> nice all right steve no interviews go. draft up some plays dude <laughs> Fucker. That's the problem. Steve Kerr's doing too many interviews out there. Yeah. C.T. Eves Kerr. C.T. Eves. All right. I do think they're going to exhaust themselves. They're not. We're much deeper than they are. So I do have a little faith that that they just came out hot and we'll just outlast them. You guys have more experience. There's like, oh, we've been down before and come back. Chris Paul. Uh, he also looks already looks. No. Kaminga is a fucking retard sometimes, dude. God, man, Chris Paul and I have the same hairline. I'm taller than Chris Paul. I'm taller than Chris Paul. Really? Yeah. How old? He's like six, six feet. He's six foot. I'm six foot one. Damn. Damn, I'm tall. Yeah, I'm six one also. <laughs> I'm taller than Chris Paul. Yeah. No, that the Warriors added him because they didn't have to use him in the plane seat, so they just put him in the overhead. Uh, and they probably wanted that State Farm insurance. They put him in the overhead bin. <laughs> yeah, you can't Ooh. tell. Oh shit! You can't right. tell because I'm sitting down. But so I'm like six here's four. What's funny is, <laughs> here's a funny thing. So last year, these two, it was a shootout, no defense. This year, weirdly, they both have two of the highest defense ratings going into the playoffs. So people are saying no one's going to expect it, but it's going to be a low scoring game. Damn! I brought the six pack for like everyone, and now I just I just drink drank my own six. Hey, pack. story of my life, dude. <laughs> Well, Jonah doesn't drink, and I brought, Miguel brought beers too. So, okay, and I have my own alcohol as well. So, yeah, drink your own six pack, baby. All right. we're all, we're all, it's a it's a potluck, dude. This game is awesome. Last Adam time, I brought, last time I brought stories for everybody. I know, <laughs> oh, that's, that's sick. <laughs> and Drew Miguel and I got somehow super wasted that night. That was fun though. That was really fun. Yeah, I did have a tough day the next day. This is fun too. I mean, but the the game is much more worth watching. Yeah, uh, so that it is fun. That I'm more cognizant for it, you know. Yeah. Oh my god! If we lose the Kings, I am going to be very. No, I don't just worry. Love, I'll I, black out. It will ruin. <laughs> hell yeah! All right, all right, we're we're back. All right. I just I love seeing it. what's come of the Rochester Royals. That's so up, funny. Matt. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to Google first NBA championship. <laughs> the Warriors yeah. got that one at least. <laughs> it is I'm funny because really- we are third, um, no fourth most championships in the NBA. Lakers, really? Celtics. Yeah, we are equal with. Uh, we're actually the in the NFL and NBA. We're either third or fourth most. And NFL Boston is, is both there, yeah. also in well, NFL and NBA. In the NFL, yeah, third B used to be the most. Who has the most in the NFL? Steelers? Uh, Boston. Oh, Boston. It's Patriots, the Pats. Yeah. yeah. And then Steelers. Oh, Steelers. Oh, yeah. Steelers and then, then 49ers. Niners tied with Cowboys. So, yeah, I think we're yeah. third in both. I think it's Boston, uh, third, Lakers, Boston than us. Lakers yeah. than you guys. Yeah. But if you look at our um if you look at our uh uh Rings, it's like 1947. Let's then go, commit. Yeah. 1977. Let's wake the fuck up, and, then, and, then, and then the Steph Curry years. Yeah. The Celtics because the same we way. We actually had the log. But, oh my God. Kaminga's getting locked up. 
Dude, Kaminga was the only reason I started paying attention this season. And Ugh. he's back he's to being fu- fucking dog shit up. again. Yeah. And Harrison Barnes is making threes. I want to die. This is the worst day of my life. I think Giants in baseball, you guys are like third or fourth also in baseball. So we're third in every single thing. That's pretty cool. Um, hockey, the A's, the A's actually probably have more than the Giants. The A's? Historically. Yeah, they might. Oh, yeah. It's close. They'd be about the same. I know it's Yankees, then I think Cardinals, and then like A's and Giants and Dodgers. The Dodgers got to be up there, right? Dodgers are maybe second to the... Dodgers, Cardinals are probably second, third. And then A's, Giants is probably... Fourth, fifth. You know, if we get blown up by the Kings, that is a fitting end to this season. <laughs> it's just like it's a season full of. Once I think about, they pull me back in, and yeah, then once I'm back I in, they, they, I really did get tricked into paying. It's just, just I, I got tricked anger. all fucking year, all year. I just got tricked over and over. I know, and I was in hockey, to... it's just Montreal Canadiens, and then like Red Wings, Maple Leafs. I was supposed to study for law school this year, but fucking the NBA is too good. Yeah, <laughs> this was an amazing year. This was a great. I mean. The, the, the tea has been great. The, the uh, gossip yeah. and the actual talent has been incredible. I mean, James, it's so, the tea is so great. We haven't talked about James Harden in like it's eight getting months. So bad. Yeah. yeah, it's getting so bad that the Warriors subreddit is just already talking about the offseason. James, <laughs> like in, in the James game Harden spread. and Russell Westbrook are playing on the same team, and that's like the seventh best thing, most interesting thing happening in the league. I know. And that, dude, the beginning of the season, I was like, oh, the Clips are going to fucking go. They're going to make it this year. Yo, and yeah. Yankees, Cardinals, and then the Red Sox and A's are tied for third. Oh, Red Sox would be up there too. Yeah. yeah. Then is it like then Giants, Giants, fifth, Where? then Dodgers? Okay. Oh, Dodgers are behind. Huh. And then the Pirates are t- tied with the Reds. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, because they've won those like in the 1900s and 1910s. Yeah. Yeah. If the, uh, yeah, the Reds win and the Warriors the Reds, lose. 1919. Yeah. 40, 75, 76, 90. Yeah. Oh, well, once you're in like the four or five range, yeah. The Pirates, Pirates 1909. 19, yeah. 25, 60, 71, 79. That's hmm. pretty fun. Do, do, do. Uh, the, Bra- the Braves would probably be up there around that area. They're probably next. Uh, the Braves are like right after that. They have like yeah, four. Literally yeah. the next one after yeah. that, tied with the Tigers. Yeah, the Tigers. It's the ones that go back. Well, like the Tigers have one in like 1908 or something. 35 is their first one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Braves' first one was 14. Yes. The White Sox next after them, 1906. There you go. And then the Twin Senators, Orioles, and Cubs. And Twins. Twins. The Cubs, they have it. It is the Cubs have them because they won like three in like 1906. 1907, 1908. Yeah. And then it's 108 years <laughs> until the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's funny about the Warriors that they had runs 30 years apart. Yeah. Like in between the Rick Barry and the Steph Curry. 108 was years, years is wild. 108 years is wild. That There's is like wild. That is three wild. generations of fans never but saw a championship. I, I just know in the NBA, that was the longest time in between rings at the at the time. 30 years, yeah, yeah. 35. For who? Uh, the Warriors. When, when Steph uh, won that first yeah. one. Yeah. 76 to 2016 was the first one. It was 1976 to 2015. Yeah. So it might have been four, yeah. Almost 40, 40 years. years. Yeah. Who they have in '76? Rick, Rick Barry. Barry. Yeah, Barry, yep. Yeah, when they played the game. Yeah, Nate Thurman. <laughs> yeah, Nate Thurman. I think Nate Thurman was he on that team? Well, he might have been before. Oh, he may have been gone by that. Yeah, I think he might have been before that. Yeah, but he he was on a good team. All right, Chris Paul, come on. You're Mike addicted. Brown. Mike Brown looks very healthy right now. <laughs> as in fat? No, as in not fat, but also not as saggy as he looked when he started losing weight. What do they call? Okay, on Chris Paul, Chris Paul got a ref whistle. That's crazy. <laughs> well, Scott Foster was actually refing the last game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I told Matt that I was like Scott Foster. No. <laughs> and I filled in Robbie all about Angel Hernandez in baseball, who's just like oh, wow, the worst umpire of all time. What do he do? He says he just uh, makes bad Matt calls. Likes Texas Roadhouse. I couldn't tell by his wife beater backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Tim. You just won the internet. Yeah. No, Angel Hernandez, he's like, he's a bad umpire. Oh, and like, my God. Players hate him because he has a bad attitude Jesus about it fuck. also. So the fans just like, 
he trends like every other day because of bad call. Hold up. Did you see those two Sikhs and fucking they had the headgear on and fucking Kings jerseys yeah. in the audience? All right, I'm a warrior. There's a huge, <laughs> yeah, because there's a big Muslim f- population in Fremont and they uh, like the Kings. Yeah. yeah. Holy that shit. That was nice. I haven't seen him make any threes all year. Wow. It will be nice. It will be nice to watch Chris Paul have an early playoff exit as usual. <laughs> uh, you know what would be kind of nice, though, is if they won the ring, and I'm not saying it would happen, but the path would be it would be beating the Pelicans. Uh, uh, it would be, oh, Loon Dog. Uh, it would be Pelicans, OKC, Clippers, Suns. And those are all Chris Paul teams. Mm. So it would be a very fitting like series finale for Chris Paul if he won the ring. Speed those, are, those are all teams that legitimately I do think that the Warriors could beat. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that would be the only way they would win is if they if if they face that exact succession. Right, right. And it would be the only way Chris Paul would win a ring. And it would be that's I mean, I'm I'm not saying it'll happen, of course. It would not, be so much fun but to it beat would be, the Celtics again. Oh yeah, I know. I know, I'm just saying it would be poetic if Chris. Oh, oh, Kings are hot. Yeah, they want to win this. They want revenge. Up oh, and so does. Response, please. Oh, there you beautiful. go, Moody. Moody trying to earn a starting spot in the NBA. Yeah, because GP two is out. So sounds like a Steve WNBA Turner. player to me. Moody. <laughs> nice, pretty <Fuck> Moody. <gasps> <laughs> No, fuck off. Yes. I like that loon. By the way, loon uh, loon dog has not been in that much. Um, no, he's had a tough season. He took Trace out real quick, and he's like, "Looney, get the fuck in there, dude." Yeah. He's had a tough year, but I, the he, he, his best performance he's ever done was last year against the Kings. Remember? Yeah. He got like fucking twenty rebounds a game. Like, was, I don't know if that's the best. Yeah, I mean, he's, one of his he's best. had some. Real fucking standout, right, like Steph's, out of nowhere. Steph's back, everybody. That was nice. There we go, dude. Oh, God, clean. dude, you give him the postseason, he becomes the fucking best player in the NBA. I think he got, he got a lot of do not plays, which was, he. I think he, got, he exhausted himself because he had a uh, one of the longest. He had like a Macal Bridges level record of uh playing games. Yeah, and I think he exhausted himself. And then Kerr was like, "All right, we're done with this record you, bullshit." You've gotten uh, the Anthony Davis headache. You ever, you ever <laughs> see the, the high opposite. school highlights? Where it was like, where they were like, "Dude, you are obviously like ill, yeah. but you keep playing these games and sucking." So he's like, "I'm just gonna like sit you out for like half the season." Yeah. And now he looks back to the old loony kind of in this game at least. Jesus Christ, this is intense. You say, oh, Steve, what are you doing? I like, I like that we started actually watching the game and people left. <laughs> people are not course, interested in course, the stream anymore. Like no yeah. Watching this game. Wait, I was hoping they would just keep talking about Texas Roadhouse. Dude, well, Texas yeah, Roadhouse when we is get interesting. Bored and talk about bullshit, then like our audience is happy. But when we just start watching the game. You keep saying Andy Davis headache, and I'm thick. I keep thinking he's taking like dick pills because I've always gotten really bad oh, headaches. You dude. ever had fucking bad headaches? Yeah, the, the blue night? chew yeah. headache. Yeah, oh, that is got to take a lot of them. And, yeah. and then you have to tell a girl you're soft because you have a headache, and they're like, <laughs> "Okay, Moody, you can't miss that, man. Please, dude." <laughs> It's like you don't you don't understand. I tried to medically trick my dick into being hard for you, and actually, it's killing me. <laughs> I'm developing CTE from a dick pill I shouldn't take at my age. Yeah, yeah. Ten point deficit. That's not that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. I mean, the game's not over. I know. This is just, dude. My blood pressure is through the roof right now. Oh, thank God. This is your nine eleven, uh, dude. I hate. Uh, as dude, I'll lose to the Pelicans. Fine, I'll say. I don't want to lose, lose to Sacramento. Can't believe you. Am I wrong, that. Miguel? Do you know what I mean? Like, I know. I hear you. I I would like so much if the only thing we did this postseason was knock the Kings out again. <laughs> so, it's so funny to just be like, yeah, I know you guys are like a, a young, like scrappy and fun team to root for, but. But what if you just never do anything? Yeah, I know. Well, Whoa. it's little brother, big brother, dude. Right. And little brother's been talking a lot of shit lately. Yeah, don't give him anything. 
All right, Looney looks gassed already. And as and as a little brother myself, I should root for the Kings, but I just can't. I was rooting for the Kings. It's just their fans are so annoying to me. Like they just got really. How about Johnson? Yeah, I do. Very annoying. Yeah, they just got very Boston fan. It, they just hate the war. It's like they became really racist. Dude, we were classy after we won. We. <laughs> 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 classy cities boston san francisco unclassy yeah, 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 yeah. Detroit, detroit atlanta memphis i did tell matt that memphis was the most ratchet team in the nba <laughs> <laughs> whoa yeah. that was a nuts rebound I'll, I'll give that to them that's the other thing though if we do play that the Bulls and lose that's going to be harder than this no we're, we're going to play the okay, see if we win if we win both play-ins, we won't play the Wolves. You play OKC. Okay, so yeah, play... but I think that I think we can knock off OKC. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it'd be great. It's actually the matchup is actually great. Would you? Would God you damn it, God damn. Grow up. Would you feel worse about losing to OKC okay, than this Woo. play-in? Damn. Uh, I'd feel better about losing to OKC in this. Yeah, play I'd be fine with losing. This plan would be devastating. I just think it looks that like we, we might lose. OKC. This sucks. Damn, this might ruin my entire week. All right, Steph. <laughs> oh, my God. I kind of love that you got the let's just be friends text and you're watching a basketball game. You're like, this could ruin my whole week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a double whammy, quite, frank quite frankly. I kind of need this game. I need I need the Warriors to win this to neutralize my week. Oh, okay. But if they lose this, then it's like, oh, the week is... The week it's is done. Total the week is a total. It's all. It's over. Yeah, got, if they win this game, it's gonna be like, shut up, bitch. I'll be sad on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be sad when we lose to the Pelicans. At least I'll watch Kaminga highlights until then. All right, pods is in, dude. Jake, it doesn't matter if the Warriors win or lose tonight. The curtains have been closed on the Warrior Dynasty. Yeah, they're just a good team now. First of all, the Warrior Dynasty ended when Clay tore his ACL, okay? Well, everyone thought the doors closed on the Dynasty before the 2022. Yeah. But that's the thing. They're right. a great well, it, team, it, it, and that it. just solidified Steph as one of the greatest players of all time, which is why that was the best chip we ever won. I was this to Nick Carr earlier, so I feel like I'm rehashing, but... I mean, the other the one like, was over when yeah. when when KD left and Clay tore his ACL so in 2022. He was just like a yeah. great team featuring the, featuring the and, core. And if not when he tore his ACL, at least when he tore his Achilles in the preseason yeah. in the next year. Yep. Two two career ending injuries. Dynasty was done. I remember when that happened, though, when it was Clay and KD also out. My dad was like, all good things have to come to an end. And uh, and that's true, you know, but it's like, but then 22 was amazing because we were the underdogs again. It was full circle. And what sucks, though, is that we are a good team again this year. But I mean, I guess if we're choking the Kings and how good even are we battery exhausted, it says again, fuck my ass. <laughs> oh, shit, really? Yeah, which is uh, an expense that I Truly cannot afford. Uh, okay. I guess we can just end it and just watch the rest of the game. No, I have oh, okay. oh, all right. Dude, they're dominating on rebounds. The Kings. God, that was pretty. Oh, we're back. We're back. This is rough, dude. Another heartbreaker from the fucking... I believed in the Kings the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really making me sad. It was for a second, but now it's not. DeMontis Sabonis, all American, even though yeah. he's European. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Pat Apple pie. Yeah. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Blue uh, collar. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors haven't had a single bucket in transition yet. Yeah. They got to put the ball in Pods' hands. Yeah. He just makes intelligent oh, plays. Oh, Kamenga redemption. He's got great court vision. I don't know how he does yeah, that. He's like a chess player. Yeah. 
a thinking man's player. Yeah. So. Well, yeah these guys are just hacking, throwing the ball. It's like, what are you doing? The other guy's just throwing it up there. Mm -hmm. okay. I just like it when players aren't selfish, you know? Yeah, yeah. Team players. Yeah. They really care more about the team than their stats. Yeah, yeah. That's what's wrong. All right. All right, we're back, everybody. <sighs> All right. Hey guys, I know you're deeply concerned. I know. Oh, come in. All right. All right, Kaminga's heating up. All right, wake up, dude. Wake me single, up. Single digit game. All right. Yeah, it sucks because like Looney was like the guy who like he was the guy who like locked up Sabonis last year, or he got just so many rebounds. He like really that King series was all Loon Looney, but this year he just really he didn't look great at all. Dude, I never watch commercials. I forget how much they suck. Dude, they suck <laughs> so bad. Damn. When, when you watch sports, you remember how bad commercials yeah. suck. Yeah. I want to kill whoever can. Oh, man. Whoever wrote BK Have It Your Way, I want to fucking the kill. Amount of money the people make on Minecraft. The amount of money people in marketing make to make god-awful commercials. Shitty whopper, whopper, suck my ass. The, yo, the poppy commercials during the, the NFL playoffs. Which ones? Poppy, what are those? The fake soda. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Honestly, there's like maybe a handful of ads that have really like popped and been cool and fun ever. And if you're ever, and, uh, I don't know. It just feels like such a the advertisers have such a low batting average, but they get paid so much money. Yeah, well, it's just so like the fucking try hard humor, and then like the worst part is, is like you imagine like your coworker like really laughing hard at him, and you're just oh, like, oh yeah. god, I want to kill Terry. Like, yeah. why do I have to be reminded <laughs> about how much Terry sucks? Yeah. It is a uh, funniest guy in the office humor. Yeah. Although the thing is funniest guy in the office. Everyone, that, most people think that guy sucks. Yeah. Everyone, for goes, everyone goes home is like the guy that everyone thinks is funny. He's actually annoying. Dude, that's the best piece of advice I give people when they're like, oh, I got to like do public speaking. I'm like, hey, dude, just don't try to be funny, man. And just say what you got to do and you'll do pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my 95 percent of the time. Yeah. Naked and afraid XL. Are there fatties on this one? No, it's no black guys. Way. Black guys. <laughs> what? Naked and afraid. I, if it was black guys, I'd just call it afraid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was originally. I was just naked, but now yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it was just naked. I think we're black guys. Oh, oh, hey. What the fuck is this show? Royal Crackers. Oh, anytime I see a commercial for any TV show, I'm like, do people? Oh, people Royal still watch Crackers, TV shows. Even Prince William. <laughs> <laughs> people still watch TV shows every time. It's so I'm insane, made. yeah. There's like a new sitcom. A comic gets a sitcom, and I'm like. I mean, I guess I'm happy for you, but yeah, are, yeah. are you guys watching that? podcasts all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you guys were like watching JJ Reddick and fucking Paul Pierce. Yeah. 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 Unless it's like an HBO show or some shit. Like I just don't fucking watch TV anymore. Don't you yeah. guys, don't you guys watch the office recap podcast with Pam and <laughs> Angela? Yeah. <laughs> but see, even that gets more views and listens than like real TV going on yeah. right now. Like, uh, like I saw Chloe Radcliffe did like was at the WGA Awards. I was like, I have no idea what show she wrote for. She wrote for yeah. And if I googled, I would probably never have fucking heard of it. Yeah. And I'm tapped in. I'm a nerd. I know about everything. Yeah. Now, whenever I'm back at my parents' place, I'm like, oh, it is cool to just flip through channels and so find nice. Oh, only eight points. Okay. Okay, it's a game. Oh, look at Steph. Woo. Oh, man. God damn. Yeah, Darren Fox is out for blood, dude. Keegan Murray. Yeah, you just don't know how these guys are going to play in the playoffs. Too. Yeah. Why? 
Uh, cause he looks like a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude! I don't, I don't know, man. In an elimination game, I could see the Kings. Aaron just Fox, no, fucking our ass. We just don't look as smooth as the regular season right now, and I can't tell if it's the defense. Kings just seem more spirited. Yeah, they're no, younger. Yeah, not not having Kaminga for the last <gasps> several games. Yeah, and then trying to work him back into, into the, the lineup. offense. Yeah, let's go, Kaminga. Come on, drive, yeah, drive. No, can go. oh, he should have fucking taken like a hook off the glass. This is what? What? Oh, the fuck? Dude, Pods is playoff ready, dude. That what would be nice. the layup. Yep. Dude, how many rookies can do that in this high pressure of a game? Pop he's got to make. He's got to make all rookie. Kendrick Perkins is right. I hate this. I've never said that before. Did he say Pods deserves all rookie? He said second team, which is, but he just hates the Warriors. So it's crazy he gave them anything. JJ Reddick put him first team, right? JJ Reddick put him first team. Yeah. yeah, he said there's no one. He said fifth. He 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 had like a strong argument for rookie of the year. Obviously, uh, obviously, no one really has a strong argument except for Wemby. Wemby, Wemby. But no, if no. anyone else was going to Chet Holmgren, Chet, no, I would yeah, say unfortunately it's, it's a weirdly yeah. really like. But if, Chet, if, Chet, if it was last year, Pods would be rookie of the year, I think. But Chet and Wemby are just too last good. Year? I don't even know uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> That's Chet, the kind of analysis or, you guys Pods, are tuning in. For. Pods had the kind of. <laughs> this is a weirdly really competitive. This is like a great rookie. This is like an, a fucking outstanding rookie class. Yeah. Like, Trace was 56th pick. He was a second rounder and we started him tonight. That's crazy. He didn't, you know, live up to it. But uh, what is this guy's fucking shirt, man? What is going on? Here? Uh, wait, uh, 2023 rookie of the year. Pretty funny that he pulled Jordan Trace. Pool. I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> CJ he Sproul. pulled Trace, and then he also <laughs> pulled Clay. Yeah, Clay, Clay, and Wiggins were both shooting terribly. Oh, Paolo Banchero from on the Magic. Yeah, that makes sense. He's really good. Oh, that was good D. Come was... on, get a rebound. They're not Hold on to the ball once. Rebounds. I know defensive rebounds win championships. Whoa, that was yes. pretty. They're both playing good ball, dude. They're getting blocks and then just bouncing the ball off their hands. No oh. fucking way. Oh, Trey. Nice. <laughs> Trey Mott. Nice, Wiggs. Let's go. Come on. Do your thing. You got, got the foul. He's not a good Thank God. <sighs> Dude, I need I need a Xanax or something. I mean, I don't because it'll kill me because I've been drinking, but God damn, dude. Look, drink like 10 cocktails. Gonna kill you. I'll, I'll just say the N word on Twitter. Uh, I'll just, I'll just yeah. say the N word. If I get if I get really stressed, I'll say the N word and that'll that'll relieve my pressure. <laughs> Wigs, dude. All right. He's locked in. All right, we cut the lead to six. Okay. Okay. It's not as bad as we thought. Yeah, I'm going to an N word therapist right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, he's actually Steve Kerr's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to an N word therapist. Yeah, he does like assignments, man. He makes me go out Come like up. a private area and Come then just scream. I Come on, I got something to tell you. I'm seeing an N word therapist. <laughs> Tony, you seen an Ed- I'm so proud of you. I'm so an Edward, glad. An Edward therapist is like a normal session, except a lot louder. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's my favorite Tim Burton movie, Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Dude, Pods. <gasps> Look Pod. at him. Look at him go for that fucking steal, Dude. <gasps> You just you got go, Kaminga. You just got locked up by Brandon Pajemski, you fucking dude. Dude, Pods and Kaminga are stepping up. Look at look at him. Look at him. God damn, Kaminga and Pods going sicko mode, dude. White boys. White, <laughs> white boys. men. White, white men. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how are we Warriors, feeling, Dub Nation? If the Warriors do win this, Pods will be the white man marching on. I have to say. <laughs> that being said, if we win this, it's like, can we win against fucking Zion? Uh, he's injured. We don't need to. Oh, shit. You're right. All right. We just need to survive this. We just need to win against McCollum. Is Zion, did it, they said anything? Uh, I don't know. They're, they would. 
I do think they might have gotten gas too. A forty point Zion game's crazy. <gasps> that was cl- oh, oh no way. Oh you got nice, it. Nice dude. Dude, Kamingo really does offer something that no yeah. one has. Oh my god. Six point Jesus Christ. Oh, Let, it's not even go. the third quarter yet. No, they better yeah, not. Not, not even half. Don't let me yet. into my zone, dude. Huh. Yeah, Kerr's gonna honestly Kerr did a speed. <gasps> Give me that bag! What? He called the foul. That's our ball. Walk home. Dumbass. Let's see that. Give me that. Pussy ass. That's why That's I love sick. Raymond Green, dude. That's why we tolerate everything. Dude, I love when he... I love when Draymond spazzes. Oh, he's great. You know? I'm like, glad he stomped on Sabonis' chest last dude, year. Dude, sick as thing he did. I'm glad he did that. The, the Look at this choking out Rudy Gobert. Not, that was so sick. Awesome. Not a very classy move. By the way, it's funny. <laughs> he should have gotten more trouble than he than he did, but everyone hates Rudy Gobert. Dre! What, Damn did you I'm choke so out sick. the guy who gave everyone COVID? <laughs> All right, easy IPA. What do you fellas watching? All right, uh... We're watching basketball easy IPA. Go to Max. It's on the Max. No, uh, we're watching Royal Crackers. We're watching Royal yeah, Crackers. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? By the way, I gotta say, this is even more entertaining than that Lakers Pelicans game. This well, this good, one has yeah. stakes. So. Yeah, that's true. My- oh, the Lakers. I thought you were saying the last one we did, the Lakers Warriors. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah it's more yeah. entertaining than Lakers Pelicans. Well, because Lakers Pelicans was like, it got close at the end, but it wasn't yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. This is a dog fight. Oh, pause. pause! God damn. Call timeout. No, no, no. Oh, oh God damn. Oh, that would have been fucking awesome. That would have been insane. That would have been a classic Steph moment. That would have been fucking nuts. Poor Steph. He wanted to make that so bad. But a four-point game at halftime? Yeah, heading good. into the third quarter, this Woo! might be our game. Dude. I'm going to kill my firstborn son. I don't know why. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine if he made that, though? I'm going to find my that firstborn been, son and kill him. That one, that like yeah. half-court shot in the Boston series. Ja Moran yeah, tweeted, yeah, Zion going crazy. Shut up. <laughs> hey, 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 Ja, how about you get a gun, fucker? All right, I'm out of what he thinks to say. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> how about you get a gun? <laughs> yeah, four-point game. Let's go. Ja, uh, ja caught a stray from Drake in his diss track. This is Zion's first ever postseason game. Really? What? Really? That's They've never what made the play. What Zion's said never on made, Twitter. Zion's never made the playoffs or before at all. That's crazy. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think the Pels have made the playoffs. That's crazy. Damn. Well, I guess now I'm rooting for them. Forty points, eleven uh, rebounds, five assists, and his that's first ever awesome. playoff Good game. Good for him. Pelicans have been in the playoffs. Maybe there's Zion wasn't playing. Yeah. Do you guys want a pizza? Um, I already, had, I would, I, I would, if you guys, if you guys get some, I will, but I'm I won't be the swing starving. Bed. I'm in the, yeah, I ate before, but if Damn. there is a pizza here, I will partake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, get a pizza. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, for the chat, we're getting a pizza. If anyone wants some in the chat. Uh, yeah. What chat? What do you think kind of chat, pizza, what we, kind of should pizza get? should we get? Uh, East village pizza is really good. Domino's is cheap. Yeah. I'll probably just get Domino's. There's a Domino's close, so it'll be fresh. Right on. Kither in the crackery. Yeah, actually, now nah, I'm getting a little hungry. I could go for some pizza. Fucking hungry. Pretty hungry. Fuck it. All right. Let's get some pizza. <laughs> Damn, what a game so far, though, huh? They're this keeping is close. what the NBA is all about. <laughs> it's beautiful. Sport. Elimination games are pretty sick, and they don't happen <laughs> that much. All... Yeah, that's what the NBA is all about, dude. <laughs> you know, when the guys when they're playing basketball, you know, and running down the court, it's just the NBA. You can't help but just admire. It's high flying. Yeah. It's fast paced. Mm-hmm. They're passing the ball. You can't help but by admire these guys for 
what they bring to the court every yeah. single day. day it's in and not day just out. the athleticism. It's not just the skill. It's the heart that they're bringing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the fundamental. It's, it's the, the fundamental. Yeah. They have the you, heart you watch of the these ball. guys, you think this is the American dream. You, you know? gotta know mm-hmm. all they really America. care what's going on out there. They really they're leaving it all on the court. They're leaving Dude, it all on the when court. When you watch the NBA, you're not thinking about Palestine. You're not thinking about <laughs> Trump. You're thinking Steph, about basketball. Steph is doing this one for Israel. <laughs> No, that was Zion. <laughs> He's a Zionist. I'd be so sick if it was like the Roman if, Empire where they just like killed dudes, like invaded a territory. Yeah. If you're thinking about this, I was like, <laughs> sports is like, it, there's been an incarnation of sports forever, and the old Roman version of sports was just like the gladiator shit. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like intrinsic in human DNA to just want watch human this, beings like an arena beat. of spectators yeah. to see like competition. Yeah. But this is the best version of that. You know what I mean? Because no one gets killed. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, well, that's I, what, I I literally think basketball is the best. Well, that was like the White, uh, yeah. the White's whole thing with the <laughs> yeah, esports. esports yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. comedy podcast beat. Is the best version of that. Actually, do you guys watch fucking time? Actually, roast battle. Yeah, do you guys watch version? Red Bar? <laughs> do you guys ever have seen Comedy Fight Club? Yeah. Actually, do you guys uh, watch like a timed Rubik's Cube battles? I mean, yeah. <laughs> three B recommends Domino's cheesy bread. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Honestly, the best form of what we're trying to get to is the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Yeah, sure. yeah, that is competition in its ultimate form. <laughs> yeah, just wait, man, hear these just guys man against nature. Oh, should, wait, should we stop it? Yeah, I do kind of want. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's take a break and watch yeah, inside. Here's the what Kenny has to say. <laughs> we're just gonna you guys watching us live stream we're just gonna repeat whatever Shaq said honestly a lot of if we could find a way to react to this that's like that's most of YouTube is reacting to dude yeah you would tell like Ben Shapiro's reaction video dude, I know, he just watches saying. a comedy clip and then goes huh true yeah and that's the entire well, if you thing. watch Hassan he'll just watch like another YouTube video and be like yep so turn on Charles Barkley on Max and ben, we'll react ben to Shapiro it. Shapiro has a big re- YouTube react yeah. Yeah. thing going on. Uh, he you- watches like Shane Gillis clips and then goes, oh, it's funny because it's true. And that's the entire say clip. Like one thing, like one, two or three words. That rules. Dude, he's doing he's <laughs> doing the like uh, the original black reacts. He's he's. Doing, the black reacts. They like get up and walk around the room. He's subterfuging yeah. black Israelites by being like, "Actually, we yeah. were the original black people." Yeah. Now Ben Shapiro is the ori- is like, "Well, I'm gonna react to things now too." They're like, "We were the original reactors." It's you know, funny because Karen thing. Margolis was talking that clip I posted, and he just goes, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I do want I do want to see what these guys have to say. Shag is talking about chicken wings. I heard that. I'm hungry. It's, it's when Zion late. takes a three, is it from the chicken wing? Guys, I'm hungry. I think we should go. Uh, I don't want to watch the rest of the game. I'm hungry. Shaq is such a, it's a great example of like why hard work is bullshit. It's like, you just got to be fucking six, seven in the seventh grade. He's like seven that's, feet the, tall. that's yeah. the most important no, but thing in life. Be personable. He's very charismatic. That's true. But that just develops because you start getting laid in the eighth grade. If <laughs> yeah. you're getting blowjobs in the eighth grade, you become a personable hey, that's so guy. True. I think I'm a weirdo because I didn't get laid till high school. Yeah. College, I'm like yeah. a weirdo because in high school, I was like, I had like an axis now. You know what that game is? It's, I like, a, it's like a World yeah. War II board game for it, but yeah. I would just like play the fucking things by myself yeah. and I would like move the guys around. I always think it's such a weird thing. You, do, you got- do kind of remind me of the guy who is playing chess against himself in the <laughs> In no, the Pixar like, short before like a bug guy who was oh, really Kenny good. must heard something yeah. really funny because he's yeah. running around. <laughs> jo- Jonah looks like he was really good at Stratego. Uh, oh. Someone showed Kenny a magic trick because he's running around. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I am very good at Stratego, but if, if honestly, the only reason I'm not good at chess, I never went to prison. If I'd gone to prison, yeah. dude, I would have gotten into chess. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, 100%. I'd be a sure. Muslim Jew, and I'd be a <laughs> chess master. Oh, Kenny's about to call it that high IQ pass. I hope. <laughs> I always love basketball commentators because they have like. Nice men's warehouse suits. And I know, then just like shoes. But then it's always just like sneakers. No, you know why? Because they never have a full body shot. Usually, like they yeah. never, they don't use they don't this they never do this during the regular season. So I bet this is what he usually. They always wears. have like the professional suit, but then the sneakers. Yeah. No, they're really like probably naked under the desk usually. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys Did you guys watch that Inside the NBA documentary on Max? 
No. It's so good. It's a four part. It's so good. The best part, though, is Charles Barkley didn't want to work on New Year's, but they had an episode. So they pretended it was like, so after the show, we're going to have a big staff party. So it's like, uh, okay, yeah, I guess yeah. I'll come. And then they, they came and they they were like, all right, we're going to the party. And there was just like a janitor mopping up. Like they, they, they completely hoaxed a party <laughs> to make Charles Barkley come to work. It was very funny. Shut the fuck up, Charles. Oh, if Steph doesn't bail him out, they're going to win this game, motherfucker. Oh, it's terrible. This is terrible. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's a total puff piece for sure, but I enjoyed it. It's. I mean, it's just like a highlight reel. I said, you say a humdinger party? A total humdinger. What does that mean? <laughs> All right, for the chat, they had a cheesy bread coupon, so I got a fucking large pepperoni and cheesy nice, bread. Dude. Yeah, it's really close, so it would it will get here quick if you uh, select that one. Beautiful. Which is very funny. I always walk by the Domino's. Like, when am I ever gonna get Domino's? Because I'm in New York City. There's just so much yeah, great pizza. You, you're right by. Oh, I would never normally get Domino's if I lived here. Yeah. No, but to, if you order a full pizza, that's actually a good. That's a good call because oh, yeah, it's really yeah. cheap. Yeah. And it's and it, it is good. Honestly. Domino's rocks, yeah, dude. The yeah. fucking the jalapeno cheesy bread. I'm so oh, I got yeah. regular. Yeah. Can't I can't. I'm my I, my taste buds <laughs> are way too white for jalapeno. Miguel, yeah, I, yeah, I don't oh, want Jesus. you to kick me out, man. But I do get regular. I have had from Domino's like taco pizza. It actually tastes pretty good. Everything tastes good when you're drunk, man. <laughs> Someone said Warriors are playing like trash, so we're officially on red alert for an insane MMA move from Draymond. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get Arby's oh, delivered? Shit. Get Arby's. <laughs> I'd be down. They have free sandwiches all the whole month of April. Just get the horsey sauce delivered. We're obviously just... all hungry that we're all just like watching fast food commercials. Like, should we get that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's why they do. Like, I know, I know. Uh, so many times, dude. I've I know. Yeah, got got. Oh, I would yeah. never order a Papa D in my fucking life if I didn't watch sports. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, no, I, they get you because like, I start smoking, I, I start watching a basketball game, and then it's like I get hit with Taco Bell, Wendy's, Burger King in a row. So I noticed that recently. I was like, it's all food commercials. It's yeah. almost, it's like 70% food commercials. Oh, yeah, they get me. I don't understand the economy. I'm not hungry. I, because, you know, as a, you know, I don't know. I, I don't have a, I don't have strong willpower when it comes to food. So I just I don't. Want, I don't understand the economy. Like, how can the commercials just be HBO Max and McDonald's? Like, <laughs> I don't like. Wait, how does things? <laughs> that's really funny. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, okay, I well, get. That's why I feel about podcasts. Like, how the fuck does Manscaped and Squarespace? Yeah, yeah every dude. Single fucking and fucking podcast. The promo code boots. CFC twenty for twenty percent off at Manscaped. <laughs> yeah, Comedy yeah, Fight yeah, Club. They, they, they pulled my sponsorship. Yeah, well, it's probably because of all the fucking new immigration. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking manscape is just doing numbers right oh, now. Jonah. <laughs> I will not they be are, watching. They are good scapers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Me Mexicans do love using the lawnmower. <laughs> 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 so they're like, up to the, actually it's the 5.0 and I, I got one no no no, no 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 Jose good. Jose man it's like forty dollars for a lawnmower from there we just get it from <laughs> there bro a white guy he he tried to charge me four hundred dollars to use the lawnmower 4.0 <laughs> on my lawn but Mexicans will you do it for like thirty bucks. <laughs> we we love Mexicans man love, dude they're the best yeah. Mexicans the best race. Uh, I, I, yes, I agree. Apparently, apparently, they're very nice and they're very hard work. Lately yeah. in California, and, really jokes. and they kick it, dude. They love to they kick, kick it. it dude. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. lately in California, the the new trend is that if you go to Home Depot, Ooh. instead of finding Mexicans like usual, you're actually finding African immigrants. Really, uh, and the Mexicans hate them. It's like really? best they because their they turf? took their drawers. It's like the wire. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Dude, they took their job. This is this is our. This is our block now. I heard uh, Jonah works at Homo Depot. Uh, that that's no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No. 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 That's the funniest response to like a Shut child is like no. just acting like it really hurt your feelings. All right, dude. You know what, dude, Robbie? You can't have any of the you no know, cheesy bread for you, Robbie. I want some. I'll pay you for it. I take it back. All right, chat. What's going on? Pretty good for a text. I don't even remember what that was, but there we go. Oh, someone's high. Matt, where are you from? Queens. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah. You gotta, I think you got to turn this back down. Oh, turn it back down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got Anya, Taylor, oh, Joy. Oh, God damn. Yo, do you know... Is this like a new Mad Max? Yeah, it it's, the, uh, it's, it's Mad Max for girls. It looks really bad. Well, the last one was supposed to be Mad Max for girls, but this looks really bad. It's the same bad. director. I think it'll be good. I just think the marketing... No, is... look at it. Is it like Sex in the City 2, the movie <laughs> yeah, where they yeah, go yeah. to Saudi Arabia? It's, <laughs> it's Max, Max in the City. Girls. HBO Mad Max. Mad HBO. Max, what? Max on a period? Or yeah, something? Yeah, 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 yeah. HBO, she's that Mad Maxi Pad. No, it's, it's, <laughs> there it is. There it now, is. Mad, Mad Maxi Pad. Mad Max is when my fucking wife maxes out my credit card and I get real fucking there mad. There we go. There we go. <laughs> When she's on her period, she's nice, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Max. No, I think it's called Furiosa, and I think she's playing Charlize Theron's character from the mm. last one. But they switched the casting. It's so it George like Miller. Uh, I don't know if it's a prequel or a sequel. I don't know. I dude, that looked like shit. That looked like <laughs> very green look screen, like poor quality. I know, but it's the same guy. Although he's also like 84 now or something. He's like really old. Oh, so he can't tell the difference between well, it, when the there were shadows guy, in the background. The same guy has directed every Mad Max movie, which is crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Mel Gibson. Yeah, Dude, I excellent wish. actor. Dude, if they were awesome, they would bring back Mel. Talk about an all-American actor. He is an all-American actor. <laughs> even though, Matt, even Matt, though he's Australian. Mel Gibson, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mel Gibson should start directing like female lead movies yeah oh, because that's a great pivot dude that's a great pivot for him mad maxine well that was what fucking <laughs> uh, mad maxine that was what... she's mad about all the jews <laughs> <laughs> that was basically what a woman wants right is what fucking, women want yeah, yeah. his that's pr like mainstream if you like it's funny Mel Gibson mad just lane maxwell uh, uh, dude, that's really good very well done um, what I, don't, I don't know why. I don't. I just. I did not see any rape. There was none. I did not know. <laughs> well, Woman wants is like means and Braveheart was main. Braveheart that was fucking sick. Movie. But all of his movies are really dark, except for what women want. Like all of his movies are like weirdly like I'm I like I'm like really... shocked that some of these got even made. But I think he's just so handsome. He just convinced everyone. Yeah. Well, dude, Patriot's a fucking sick ass like, movie. Dude, so violent, are you talking though. about the yeah. Passion of the and Christ? It's funny about the Patriot if you watch it. It's like all the slaves are like we love you, master. <laughs> yeah, dude. The dude. slaves, the slaves <laughs> are yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. It's, it's fight actually, for it's, I, I freed them all, and they're working mm -hmm. because the they want about to. A southern plantation owner who is the hero. <laughs> actually, do we have stock options on the plantation now? You know so great, also. yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> they all own equity in the farm. Yeah. <laughs> Dragged across concrete is a great movie. Though, I've never seen that one. So you got to watch that one. That's a good one. Uh, S. Craig Zoller. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What are some other good Mel Gibson? He's made a lot of lethal good movies. Lethal Weapon. The lethal Weapon Rock. Yeah, yeah. All the Lethal Weapons are good. There's not a bad one. I actually, that's my Die Hard. Everyone's like, oh, Die Hard. I'm like, no, no. Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon fucking lethal rocks. Lethal better than Die Hard. That's no, my hot take. My version of that is American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Even the straight to DVD. Yeah, movie. when people are like, Die Hard 2 is great. You're like, no, no, no. American you Pie. Haven't, you haven't you seen, seen the, the Naked Mile. Naked Mile. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, have you seen fucking the Big Dirty Trailer Park Boys movies? That's my fucking. <laughs> All right, that's back, everybody. Signs is good, actually. Signs? Signs is a great movie. It is good. I like it. I'm, I'm actually a, a big uh, M. Night Shyamalan guy. Dude, his movies so suck. Mel Gibson loves no, science, he had some great movies. Yes, I agree. I'm with you. Up until The Village, it, it was good. I like The Village. I do too. But like that was his like, ugh. I don't. I actually don't hate Lady in the Water. I kind of liked it too when I was a kid. I thought it was, that was fun. Uh, Mel Gibson loves Signs, but he hated Seinfeld. Mm, yeah. Because it was a Jewish show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, dude, fucking him when he got pulled over, dude, is so oh, insane. Oh, yeah, he hated traffic signs. Oh, my yeah. God. Look, look at that. Whoa, oh. good finish. Good finish. Beautiful. All right. Wait, come on, what Steph. do you mean when that? Oh, is that a real thing you're talking about? And he got pulled over? Mel Gibson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, that is like one of the. Cop sugar oh, oh yeah, the, that's one of the worst the insults tape. of all times. I hope you get raped by a pack of fucking. And worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how when he got pulled over. That's when they found his voice. Yeah, his that's ex. it. That was a tough. That was a tough double whammy. Yeah, because he like clawed his way back from the DUI. Yeah, but then they found his voicemails where he was like way more racist. Well, the, the, the problem was that he was anti-Semitic Another before it was ball. cool. Yeah, there were quotes yeah. back in the day where he was just like, "Come on, six million? It may oh, not have been nice. that many." Oh, <gasps> dude, that's Golden State ball. They need to make another Uncle Drew movie directed by Mel Gibson. No, directed by yeah, Kyrie be, Irving. Yes. And, Kyrie Irving, Mel Gibson, and Kanye are going to be oh, the ultimate team up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's what we need. That's that's what's going to heal this country. Featuring Louis C.K. for some reason. That's yeah. what's going to solve the Middle East. That's yeah. actually a bit I've been doing. I was, I've been saying the canceled men cabal is going to get too awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like too many awesome guys are getting canceled. That they're going to make the best shit ever. What All are right. you gonna do? Cancel Steph's the rock? About to go nuts. If they cancel the rock, you're yeah. done. <laughs> I have look a at movie. that. Look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. I got a Louis C.K. story. I got to tell off air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> remind yeah. me though. Yeah. All right. Steph's going sicko. Mo- Ooh, good foul though. That was a good foul. Sorry no, guys. Goaltend. You're not gonna get to hear about the time Louis jerked off in front of Jonah. Yeah, dude. And then yeah. I fucking then I was able to come on this podcast. So I, so that was the I fucking <laughs> jerked off on this guy. And he did a live stream of a fucking basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Is Clay back in? Dude, I love playoff warriors. I really hope they make the playoffs. Let's go. Well, this is the playoffs. I know that's, like what that's what I'm damn. saying. This is different from every single regular season yeah. game. Every single one. You said you hope they make the playoffs. So, so I want to keep watching. I know, yeah. but I want to keep watching this basketball. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Turnover. Because the Warriors are almost kind of notorious for turning it on in April. Yeah, like that's the whole that. thing. But the thing is, the West got so stacked. Now they got in a do or die game. Oh, Clay. Uh, how is that not a foul? Nope. It feels like there's fouls. <laughs> that sucks. That was killer. <laughs> what does that mean? This there's is some sto- story developing. Yeah, dude, what this story? Is, a close game? This is going to have a real <laughs> big impact on a lot of lives. Oh, no. no. Well, to be fair, I've never heard of Keon Ellis. Nice retribution because that probably should have been foul too, but it's okay. No, oh, if you had wow, hit nice, that, would have been so nice. I know, but look, rebound and then staff off the. Uh, they got to bring pods in. Honestly, yeah. pods has the real spark plug. Pods does have the highest plus minus on the team. Yeah, and that ain't nothing. <laughs> Draymond, uh, uh, with Draymond? what's Draymond oh, doing? No, no, Dre, please. He's riling him up. He knows how to get him to yell at the ref so he gets attacked. Nice. No, no free throws on that? Oh, I got okay. Not in the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph. Oh, no. over. Holy shit. <gasps> this is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Fuck my life. Time out, Steve Kerr. This is an exciting game. That's a good like day for that guy. That I dude want... looked like Chet Hanks. Yeah. That's what I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, at this point, if we lose, we deserve it. <laughs> this is Disneyland. I don't I don't I don't say we get past two elimination games like it's just not. This team just doesn't have an identity. That's a problem. But look, they are still just the good team that was a dynasty. 
Dude, I need a fucking family. That's what I'm saying. The dynasty ended in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> you need a what? I need a fucking family, dude. It's like a, I'm like, what? Watching Walt- Disney commercials. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, damn, it'd be tight to have a little kid <laughs> right now. I'm not listening. What if instead of doing open mics, I got married? <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck. What if I was selling insurance and going to Disney World right yeah. now? <laughs> Jonah, you're such an awesome X factor of this uh, live stream. Oh, thanks, man. I love that we had you as the token Lakers fan, but you're just like, dude, I just want a family. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, women, no. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah, oh women, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking can't keep them. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. it. Women, they'll just women, come and go. Women can't live can't with them. Live with them. Mm, yeah. That's it. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's moving on. Mm-hmm. They just want to like be your friend only. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> they love to just be friends, dude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they, they love being friends. Or win. Bet five hundred dollars on the Warriors right now. And it's weird. It, what's weird about it is, you never want to be friends with them. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, Wait, they so you- gaslight you. That's like everyone. Women say men gaslight. I think women gaslight. So obviously, much, women invented much. gaslighting, yeah. and then we're like, that's the thing that guys do, which is yeah. the ultimate gaslight. Yeah. Honestly, they gaslight men into think they like men are too stupid to gaslight. We don't even women do that shit. Gaslight like crazy. When I was in, they gaslight us to think that we gaslight. The things I Literally. like to do, the things <laughs> I like. Relationship, I was in a totally different reality than what was true because yeah. of what she was saying. The things I like to do are go to work and have sex. Like, where, where is the time for yeah, fucking what, gaslighting? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, men famously the ones who are great at emotional manipulation. Like, yeah. fuck <laughs> off, it, like literally. Women are always like, we mature faster, we're more intelligent, but men are actually better at manipulating. No, men, are at, like, men are great at physical violence. Yeah. yeah. But emotional violence, women... No, I'm, I'm the fucking goat. Women goated. are goaded. Women, yeah. no, women, women love to... Goat- we are goaded at physical Women violence. love to become <laughs> public school teachers because they're not really good at shit, and then convince <laughs> young girls that they mature faster. <laughs> It's like, actually, yeah, you're allowed to cry for the rest of your life every time something gets tough for you. I love yeah. that you're strong. Yeah. I love that both times we streamed around the third quarter, it just turned into one. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck. It does piss me off when they cry. Well, because it's their, it's their, uh, here's the thing. I grew up in a house of women, I, like my a single mom, basically raised All right. Me. Okay. And I did, and I, but, but then I would be with my dad every other weekend. And my mom just got out of shit so much easier than my dad, I noticed. Like, my mom yeah. would cry if she got a ticket, and the officer would be like, oh, oh that's fuck. Yeah. Like, my dad sped. He could never fucking do that. No. That's just an early memory that was like, oh, women have it easier than men in many ways. <laughs> but then they pretend that they don't. It's, yeah. Like, look at the WNBA, honestly. Man, they look really the are WNBA. smarter. <laughs> they fucking really are, dude. <laughs> the WNBA, they don't even have to make money, and they get to complain. It's like, no I gotta women, have women do be complaining. Dude, I was on a date. I was on a date, and this chick was like, Yeah, I only like guys that are ambitious. And I was like, I don't fucking like girls that suck Wait, my cock. Please, please. Oh my god. The girl I'm seeing yeah, now I only t- like girls who shut the fuck up, yeah. bitch. The girl I'm seeing now said she likes oh, when man. men are passionate about things, and I'm like, Yeah, love, let's see how you feel. Three hours into me you know tell I'm talking to you about WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <What's laughs> Let me tell you about Diamond Dallas Page oh, yeah. for a second. <laughs> What she means is like a guy that works overtime. That's yeah. what she means about passionate. No, she like specifically said about me like liking wrestling and sports. She was like, I like when guys have passions. Yeah. Even if they're things that she's not into. Women really well, like yeah, it. Well, my girlfriend tried to say something like that about um, wh- how much I was getting pissed off about fantasy football. Oh, Domino's here. Pizza. And she's like, well, I just I, I wish I had something I cared about as much that had no influence on my life. Like, yeah, like, well, you're being insulted. Now you're being mean. You're being condescending. No, she was opinion. saying yeah. it more like cause she's into like astrology and crystals and stuff like that. Oh, and she's God. like, I like that you like sports and I like my thing. And we both are like, this is dude shit. This is girl shit. But yeah. we don't force each other to like. All right. For anybody listening. And th- for some reason, black guys are into both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For everybody listen, this is what dating at 30 gets like. Yeah. You're just with a girl that's like, yeah, I mean, he likes sports. I do astrology. Yeah. Sometimes he works on Saturdays and I can take a bath. Yeah, yeah it is a Mexican <laughs> standoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is the Domino's here? I think so. I think that, they're, they're, you have to go get it, or I think they're coming up right now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Pods is back in. The Warriors are turning this around. Oh fuck yeah! Man, the white guys are playing and our pizzas here. What more could we ask for? Uh oh. I'm in hell. <laughs> Where's the foul? He didn't even fucking touch him. This is going to go from people watching. This is going to go from a fun live Isn't stream. That obvious? He obviously to, didn't even fucking touch him. It's going to go from a fun live stream to just grown men having meltdowns. <laughs> Yeah, ball going live, pussy. All right, so anybody on the stream wondering, the race of the guy, it was an Indian guy that okay. delivered the pizza. Yeah. I know a lot of people were concerned about that. <laughs> Pizza's going to be extra spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't... Are you uh, sober, Jonah? Yeah. Or you just, yeah. yeah. Were you a big drinker? Dude, I used to love getting drunk. Yeah. Yeah, I used to fucking love getting drunk, and then life just got awful. Yeah. And your fucking best friend leaves you, dude, and then you're like, what the fuck do I do now? That was my best friend was fucking Budweiser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> paper towel. Oh yeah. So. I guess I'm grateful from a young age. I was around so many like alcoholics and addicts and I always was like, yeah, I don't want to do that. So I like always drank, but never like, <laughs> If it ever got to a point where I, it could possibly be a problem, I'm like, no, this is too fun. I want to not ever well, dude, get there. You'll never believe it, but that was my thinking also until one day I was like, oh, shit, man. I just drank two bottles of wine, two tall boys, and a fucking pint of Maker's Mark, man. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Like, just by myself. I'm a, I've always been a social drinker. Like, even if I'm home and I'm just drinking, I start, like, texting all my friends. <laughs> Dude, going, yeah. yeah. Being in the group chat drunk goes crazy. Yeah, I'll drink and start responding to everyone's Instagram stories. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, still, it's crazy. Man is actively slurring. I think Jonah's slurring, but he hasn't had a drop to drink, hilariously. No, no, just the pizza's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jonah sounds the drunkest of all of us and yet has not drank anything. That's true, yeah. Dude, I need the king to not make right. that! Fuck! What kind of drink you got, Robbie? I, got a I made it a granny for myself. Oh, nice. After what I want to call Deer and Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this is, is it for the Warriors, huh? Yeah, they can still come back. Okay. Not over yet, but the Kings just... They're, they have their number, kind of. Got, they've got something tonight. Yeah. The Warriors seem a little slower. Yeah, for revenge. I told you. You know what? Put the words out of their misery. It's been a hell of a season. I don't need any more fucking drama or misery. Shout out to a molested child or whoever recommended the fucking cheesy bread. Great idea. Lie. Yeah. It's almost as bad than a lot of pizza I've had lately. Yeah. Why did he shoot that shit? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to kill myself and everyone around me. 
Just tell me not to come into school that day. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh. God! I'm not gonna pay attention to this game anymore. I'm gonna black no, out. Barry just had an awesome. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, it's black I'm blacking season, out. Guys. I'm blacking out. Me too. This is stressing me out so much. My blood pressure is to the roof. How come there isn't more workplace shootings? <laughs> <laughs> Jody, you might be the funniest guy I've ever met. <laughs> Thanks, man. I feel like there's some way I could like market that and like fucking make money off. <laughs> you tried comedy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only make some money. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you want to make money. Don't uh, try comedy. Try becoming a uh, try becoming a uh, marketing the, 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 uh, advertisement. The way made this is very person. very strange. You want, you want to make money with being funny? Try writing for commercials. Dude, I, I had a professor in college, and that's he was like a fellowship professor, you know, like a grad student. And we found out like two years later, he just fucking quit teaching and was making like one hundred twenty thousand doing uh, advertising. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a fun story. Usually. Stories are like, oh, I had this teacher. It was so cool, and they ended up being a pedophile. No, well, I had one in high school who ended up fucking uh, sleeping with the girl. He, she, he, she, like, he waited till she turned eighteen, and then okay. they started hooking up. Yeah, the dean in my junior high school, who was like the cool dean, like when I had detention, he would sit next to me and talk about Yankees baseball. The oh, whole time. beautiful! And then he ended up like having a year long affair with like a fifteen year old, paid for her abortion. Like what? Yeah. That's crazy. Started making me, th and there was another cool teacher who, like, um, all the guys thought he was cool because he would talk about which girls in the class were hot. And then later on, it was like, oh shit, he did some weird stuff. He with, uh, was one hundred percent a weirdo. I feel like all the teachers you think are cool when you're thirteen are actually a problem. Yeah. Whoever you think is like a dork and annoying at thirteen, that's who the normal. Adults that's who you want to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Somebody that's like concerned about their taxes. Ah, nice. Knock it down. Uh, how's that not an offensive foul? Man, I'm going to hate work tomorrow. God, I start my new job on Friday. What do you do? Uh, back to waiting tables, you know. Sick. Yeah, it's a uh, the standard High Line. They're opening up a Mexi. If anybody wants to go to the standard High Line in the Meatpacking District, there's a new Mexican restaurant that's opening up. The <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to go hang out in the Meatpacking District with me, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, the standard, right? Yeah. Um, it's famous in the city. It has like windows that everybody can see. It's a hotel. And so it's oh, fame. Yeah, yeah, they have like a lot of like public sex there is a big thing. They having gay sex there in the <laughs> in the in the, in the meat packing district. <laughs> that sucks, man. I'm sorry, Miguel. Nice. Luckily, Robbie doesn't have an animal in here, so yeah. Look, luckily, the lease doesn't allow for cats. So. <laughs> <laughs> they do, but I just don't have a spot on the cat one. Oh yeah, smart. The cats are like they're the, a lot of work. It's like the least <laughs> responsible you have to be to own a pet. <laughs> yeah, oh you can just God. leave them. I don't know, dude. Having to vacuum every once in a while—that's fucking. Here we go. I have just known some. Just a back and forth. No fouls called. Now, this is basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more pizza? Is it gone? It's gone. Oh, that's all right. I had a roommate who had a cat in a fucking apartment that I lived in in Harlem. Yeah. And uh, I would leave my door open, and then, like, the cat would just come into my room and shit on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> 
I grew up with I'm cats. So my family Fuck had this. cats my whole life. And then once I moved out, every time I would come back, I would have allergic reactions. So and I funny. realized I was allergic, but I'm just used to it when I live with them all the time. But now, like every time I'm over at a friend's place with a cat, my eyes are all watery. And it's like the and I it sucks. I love cats. Mm -hmm. I grew up with them. The thing is, what's going to happen now? Obviously, it stinks that the Warriors are not even going to make it through the play-in. Yeah. But they're going to draft Bronny. Yeah. yeah. LeBron. <laughs> yeah. And LeBron's going to come to the Warriors. And then everybody who's ready to retire, we're going to get DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to... We got Macau Bridges also. You know how good DeRozan Russell would be on the Warriors. Going to come over. Paul, no, Paul George is coming. You know how good DeRozan would be as Sean Livingston. Dude, I I wanted DeRozan at the trade deadline. Actually, I know. I want I want him so. Fucking but the bad. he's on the Hawks or no, he's on the Bulls right now, right? Yeah. yeah, the Bulls didn't make. Bulls don't make trades. They haven't made a trade in three years. The, the Warriors and the Bulls were both played like we're we're going to trade everybody, and they didn't trade anybody. Yeah. Should we go to Denny's? There's no Denny's close by. When there's that one LA, in the financial yeah. district. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a well. I, there's a Denny's in Fido. Yeah, this unless it's closed. Is big news. Yeah. I remember like, years ago they opened a Denny's downtown, but then it was like gone. Is it? Is it still there? Or unless it got one? killed because of the pandemic, there is a Denny's in Fido. It could be um, as of 2019. <laughs> okay, I, I as of like when I killed. was getting, I think it closed. Down. When I was getting drunk in Manhattan, that's when I knew yeah, where the Denny's was. I remember going to the Denny's in Manhattan, being like, "This is amazing," and then it just wasn't there <sighs> anymore. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the Denny's is permanently closed in Fido. Well, there's that IHOP on 14th Street. <laughs> there's also like great indie diners like Velselka and that great mm -hmm. place by near Comedy Club. But yeah. if you want like breakfast food, nothing compares to Denny's. Guys, we should. I move. mean, any of those like a Denny, the IHOP on 14th is good. There's no Waffle Houses near here. I love no, Josh Denny's. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we should move to Iowa, man. Yeah. No, yeah, Iowa, the best I love, state. I love big cities. <laughs> no, I, I could, I would die in like two seconds. I, I, yeah. I think I could move. And it's I like, always, same thing. I grew up in New York, so I always am like, God, I want to uh, live yeah. in the middle of nowhere. But I feel like after a few weeks, I would get tired of it. Yeah, it sucks. But dude. every time I do like the, I'm like away somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, this is where I should be. This is really? amazing. I love mountains and all, but yeah. But after a few weeks, I once I couldn't get food or get so anything Three after years, eight right? o'clock. Quarter, I'd be but, I don't know, yeah, man. this will be a tough one for the Warriors to squeak out. What what's our predictions? I think the Kings probably got this, Ugh. but I mean, it's it's not over yet. How many? What's the different? What's the score right now? I think they're up like eight or nine. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, that's not. That's actually not that. But big. just so far, the Kings are just. Oh, they're up twelve. So, twelve. The Kings just look so yeah. much more spirited. They well, want. They want it more. Maybe. What's interesting about the Warriors is the third quarter doesn't matter as much this season as it did in the past. Like they, yeah. they, they can be a fourth quarter team. Yeah, it used to be. It used to be either the Warriors blew everyone out in the third quarter or they lost. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's going to be a lot. I mean, it's going to take a big step performance. It's going to gonna, be honest. It's gonna take someone to be good for once. <laughs> Kaminga's on this fucking it. goddamn team. No, Kaminga sucks dick right now. Yeah, Clay is actually he the problem. He needs more playing time. Kaminga needs to wake up. Is this yeah. hockey? with all these white guys? Otherwise, he's getting traded. I think we should trade Kaminga, honestly. They're probably he trading fit in with the offense. He's a great player that a lot of teams would love to have, but he doesn't fit in with the oh, Warriors. Yeah. I he's the only reason I started playing paying attention again this season. I That's was weird. ready to ignore the entire season. The VP of player health for the Warriors is the father of like the player of the year for like college hockey. Yeah, there's That's all so this hockey funny. bullshit going yeah. on. Celebrini is the GOAT. The uh Warriors Celebrini? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's the GOAT of player health. <laughs> He, yeah, he's the guy who kept, yes. uh, uh, yeah, because, um, fucking, um, who's that guy we had on the 22 team who was who everyone thought was a total bust? Otto Porter, Otto, no, yeah, yeah, Otto Porter yeah. Jr. Celebrini kept him like super healthy all year, made him a champion, yep, yeah, guy yep. who came into the league as uh, the, the spitting image of Wilt Chamberlain. 
Uh, nope. Jesus. Take that. Shoot that uh, shit. An offensive rebound because no, the Warriors no. are. Oh, nice read. Short. Moody. Moody. Moody legacy game over here, even if we don't win. Moody trade value game. Uh, <laughs> yikes, dude. This is really rough. But 15, I don't know. It, it could still happen. It's not over yet. No. And the, but they would need to make a basket. <laughs> <laughs> that would help. Hey, that's a lot. That's a lot to ask. Come on, Chris Paul. Come on, Chris Paul. Retire. Chris Paul. Oh, nice pass, though. And then Wiggins driving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that also that should have been a foul. Like. That little should be a foul. I know. Little Kawhi bounce. Yep. So frustrating. This is really frustrating. Oh, they called it a trigger pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you uh, call is it? Is it John Moran? I call it a Steve Kerr pass. Yeah, Steve Kerr pass. Oh, oh dagger. You can't hey, give Keegan him right Murray. there. And his feminine ass. Shut up, you fucking sack town messed up fucking hillbillies. Hell yeah. It is we're nice going for in, it is nice for in, people from Sacramento to have something. We're going into the fourth quarter. Are you guys watching are just gonna watch Miguel and Robbie uh try and rationalize what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rationalizing it. I'm just like well, just, actually Sacramento kind of sucks anyway, no, no, so maybe no, no, it's no, good no. for them to have this. No, no, no. Well, no. have you been to Sacramento? First no. of all, first <laughs> of all, I'm not fair. rationalizing it. I'm, I'm just shitting on the people who live in Sacramento. <laughs> it's like, all right, yeah, maybe you guys get this dub, but you still have to live in Sacramento. Yo, the best ass. restaurant, the best restaurant I've ever been to in Sacramento was literally in a trailer. Yeah. Was, I think midway through the fourth quarter, we're going to get Robbie going like, I didn't even want to be more than friends with her either. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I never that was said, how he started, actually. No, no. I never said it was good, or I'm not rationalizing anything. I'm just like, fuck you guys. I, I, I right away, you said winning. she was more of a hookup. <laughs> First of all, I said that up top. <laughs> Second of all, I'm not coping. If we lose this game, that's actually really bad. That, it will actually ruin my, my fucking week. But that's okay. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to have a pretty good week. Flagrant oh, against who? Tomb. Draymond on the bench somehow. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, let's give it up for Draymond for not getting himself ejected yeah, in this game yet. Well yeah. Yeah. It's the end of the very... third quarter and Draymond still uh, hasn't been ejected. Good job, Draymond. Sabonis hasn't gotten a single foot on his chest. Very mature. Why are... Wait, is it Draymond and Chris Paul arguing against each other? How has Chris Paul just not gone bald? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that is a sweaty ref. <laughs> <laughs> but only on like the top yeah the it's like, what's going on and that's just the lights reflecting off a black man's forehead yeah probably <laughs> yeah yeah that's fucked yeah. up yeah that's flagrant dude that's some bill lambier shit dude the kings are playing dirty dude all right come on man Oh, Wiggins, no. Missing the clutch. So much pressure. Ooh. Dude, and I want the heat throws, to win. Makes you want, really want to call him a Negroni, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Wig Wiggins cannot. This he just sticks. missed both. No, he has one more. He can make this. He's so oh. He's so soft, he can't, like... All right, there you go. thank God. That last fan. I mean, there's some real, like, Sacramento is a wild, like, it's just basically like the South, but in Northern California. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. You got to go up to, like, Crescent City. That, that is a, the South. A, oh, California rednecks are their own thing. Yeah. yeah. They're, like, not hillbillies. No. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I know. They like flip flops with like shorts and then like a lifted yeah, truck. They're the guys like, who, all the guys who listen to Sublime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's who that is. It's like a weird version of trailer trash. I'm that like, exists yeah. Like, 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 the, like Nate Diaz if he couldn't fight. Occasionally I'll see something that's like very racist against Mexicans and I'll have to like DM somebody I knew that like I grew up with and like yeah. so in then California because I'm like no one else is gonna get yeah, why yeah, this is yeah, so yeah. fucking racist. It's um <laughs> it's like a thing about like, dude, like a New York comic who's like a Sacramento ass cop. Like that's a really hard guy. It's like somebody that's like if I see a meme about like do Mexicans do be parking their cars in their front lawn, I'm like, dude, I gotta fucking send this to Alex, man. Don't fucking <laughs> get that. Yeah, it's um God, it's such a it's such a unique kind of white trash. Yeah, like Northern California white trash is very unique. Weren't they trying to make um, part of like Northern California its own state, Jefferson yeah. County? Yeah, 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 yes. Because like, because only because California is red except it's like New York. It's like Cal- yeah, it, like when you yeah when you get out of yeah. But they're not quite like rednecks or like MAGA people. Yeah, upstate New York. Honestly, is, it's, it's honestly very similar to upstate New York people. Because upstate New yeah. York, like you'll see Confederate flags sometimes. Yeah. You'll be like, but you're in New York. Yeah. But, but Northern California, Sacramento, they have a little dirt. They're a little dirt baggier than like upstate New York. Yeah, people, I think even. so. They yeah, have I like a little that. like. Well, right. Know. Upstate New York would be racist towards NorCal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because NorCal, Sacramento people are more like, yeah, they all live amongst the Mexicans and the blacks. Right. Yeah. And also, right. it's like, yeah, I'm saying New York, you, it's just like dudes and dudes in flannel who you don't want to ask about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. 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 I would say it's it, also a lot of like, it's a lot of people have like a little hippie in them, but also a lot of ra- a lot of kid rock in them. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's Sacramento. The it's hippie, half hippie, half kid the rock. The hippie that's, throws that's things them, yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying New York is like, it's that a lot of, it, none, it, of the, dude, none of the hippie. In, in, in upstate Wigger couldn't cut it in NorCal. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Upstate yeah. Wigger doesn't really have the hippie thing at all. No, yeah. They have a because like I think it's Santa Cruz is like the ground zero and then it kind of yeah. like moves out. And then Sacramento. You don't got, think upstate New York has hippies? They, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got no, it. It, 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 it is a different oh, the kind. Yeah. I'm thinking like further north. No, you get to like, no, 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 but yeah. Ithaca, like yeah, Saranac, the, uh, they the, have the a different area. kind. Yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. The hiking, yeah, yeah. I guess. Kingston. Yeah. yeah. I, I would actually say Kingston people are very much like Sacramento people. It's like, it's similar. Kingston, Jamaica? No, no Kingston, Kingston New York. upstate New York. Yeah. It's like a bad area full of white people who do crime. That's basically what it is. Yeah, it's like beautiful, but then it's like don't park your car in a bad spot. Once you get up to the Adirondack Mountains, it feels like those are just kind of like old, like country music. Old, it yeah. feels like perverts. There's, it's a lot of perverts. It's yeah. a lot of people who fled their regular life and moved out into the yeah. Adirondacks to hide. Well, yeah, New York has a ton of that. Of like people that have money that like left to go have like a this country is, life or whatever. Fuck children. So yeah. Mad. A lot of times you're just so bored on the farm, you fuck a cow. Yeah. (laughs) And you you realize about their beautiful pussies. (laughs) Realize how good six stomachs feel on your (laughs) cock. (laughs) I might have to log off the internet for like a week. After this? (laughs) If 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 we lose. I'm not convinced we'll lose. Big if. Yeah, I think Steph could do something. Fifteen. Down 15, going to the fourth quarter. Yeah, honestly, that's not that much. Well, that was nice. Okay, yeah. They're fighting for their life. Look at them. They should have <laughs> shot that. No, look at the defense. Kaminga. Whoa, yeah. that was nice. Told you. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not was- talking I'm not talking lifted truck wiggers in California. I'm talking fucking scraper wiggers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Upstate New York, you just see a lot of pickup trucks out of nowhere. Like the most handsome and smart does... guy in Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the king of Sacramento. That's basically that's Sacramento. I'm the Sacramento king. You're yeah. Sac- yeah. Yeah. the Sacramento king. <gasps> no. Yes. He missed that. Thank I God. But if you go to Upstate New York, you might yeah. meet a Rochester Royal. Oh, is that a foul? Uh-huh. <laughs> Or a Syracuse National. No, I'd be I'd be like just a regular guy in Albany who's like 
Boo. He gets into crypto. I want yeah. Dr- Draymond, get in there. Well, Albany's into also, the space. like, when you drive up to Albany, I feel like it's a, di- once you get past Albany and you're in, like, the Adirondack Mountains, that's where it gets real, just, like, hill people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, they, one time I was in Saranac, and uh, Ubers weren't running because they, they barely have Ubers. Yeah. yeah. Um... And so we were stuck at this, like, weird taco pizza place. Yeah. With just townies. And we were, like, panicking. And the guy was like, oh, you guys need a ride back to... We were camping. So it was like, you need a ride back to the campsite? Yeah. I know a guy. Here's his number. We call this random guy. And he was like, yeah, I got kicked off of Uber. He started telling us his story. Apparently, he was like a pedophile or like some sort of molester yeah. oh, that God. got kicked off of Uber, moved to Saranac. Yeah. No. Uh, this is as bad as basketball gets. Jonah's saying, no. Jonah, just, are you, are you is, team this Warriors? This is just embarrassing. Dude, I'm just team basketball. It's, it's, like, yeah. bad bas- <laughs> it's insanely bad basketball. Yeah, this is just embarrassing. All right, I think this one's over. No, it's it's not, but it could be. I, emotionally, it, I like they're I'm all a, playing yeah, so I, poorly. I, I'm, I'm resigned now to the Warriors losing, but it's and not. The, it isn't over. He's knocking on your door. Who? Uh, okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, knock on the door. Oh okay. shit. Uh oh. Maybe it's another pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, somebody fucking looks like we pissed somebody off, chat. Uh-oh. I hope we didn't get Robbie in trouble. I don't think yeah. all children are hot. I just think that sometimes <laughs> when they are hot, they're typically hotter okay. than adults. We got to keep it down. We got too excited talking about Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, and the fucking, what is it, the onions and mushrooms that they have with the steak? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They called an offensive foul. On who? This stink stick. Turn this off. I don't want to watch this. It's crazy that they're in the fourth quarter and they only have 78. How'd they call an offensive foul? What do you do? On Pajemski for the. Uh, ugh. A yeah, rare calling rare. moving screens on a rare us. It's mishap over, dude. from pods. <laughs> nah. They're calling moving screens on the Warriors. It's, the game is over. Whatever. No, and I don't think it is. Yeah, Kaminga is sucking fucking ass right now. He's My losing his great God, value. Maybe that's it. That might Kaminga, be the Kaminga is the Kings are ju- things are just landing for the Kings too. In addition to them just kind yeah, of well, whatever. Look, energy. man, that's uh just you know what? That's the uh, Warriors that's the way season. The crumbles. It's just the way it is. Ugh. Damn, I'll I'll make sure to bring stories next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank <laughs> you. No, I'm not doing another live stream. This is this is very no sad. No more live streams. Yeah. Well, well I was hoping I mean, to fall. The, I was hoping Warriors, the Warriors are out. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> so, Warriors are out. I, yeah, I'm not. Who am I going to follow? OKC. The just do Lakers. a live stream of the NBA Finals when it happens. I'll do the finals. Yeah, yeah well, I'll, I'll do the finals. The thing is, it could be good in the future because we won't care and people actually don't like when we watch the that's game. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll we'll check back in around the so finals. So, we, we won't do it for the in-season tournament because we'll care way too much about that. Mm-hmm. There you go. Actually, the people don't care. Fuck. Come on. I'll come over and just do a baseball watch along and I'll be the only one who cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll just riff on it. Yeah, you guys all riff and have a good time, and I'll be living or dying with every pitch. Getting really invested in May baseball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Friday when we go to the game, you guys are all going to be having fun in this box, and I'm going to be like, but I got to see. <laughs> yeah. I got to watch the game. <laughs> guys. You have like a little scratch sheet, and you're like keeping your own stats for the game. I'm keeping my own scoring <laughs> yeah. it myself. <laughs> When I was a kid, when I learned how to keep this, actually do the score, I was so proud of myself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does make it more interesting because yeah. then you're like totally fucking in. It's like gambling, you know? The Pelicans. Oh, fuck. I used yeah. to have like, uh, there's this like fun ass game that we used to play where you put like a quarter in every time. Shit. I don't remember how it went, but it was like you, you passed it every like pitch or every batter or something and it was like if you got a hit you got the pot from the last like everyone had to put a quarter in every time there's a pitch mm-hmm. and if someone got a hit oh whoever God, it landed 19. on got all of the quarters 
so we would go to a game with like six people and you'd get like 20 bucks every time someone got a hit i don't know it's fun yeah yeah that sounds fun i don't remember the rules i still play there's a game now online immaculate grid they do it for every sport actually but um it's uh like a puzzle where they have like teams along like a thing and you have to fill in each box based on like you pick a player that played for the two teams that it's a crossover of they do it like for basketball baseball for every i usually do it for baseball every day but let me just see what the basketball well, this, one is for. This tonight. is more like if you're at the stadium, you're just yeah. playing the game with your bros to the basketball one today is uh um, it was tough so to it's like a grid, a, uh, it's a grid open. like this, and you have to like fill in someone who played for the Suns and Pelicans. Well I'll say Chris, this pa- Chris Paul. All this I will say this. Uh this is almost a mirror image of the year before twenty twenty two. Someone who played for the Kings and Pelican. We got bounced out in the play in. Demarcus Cousins. And we had we had good shit going on, but then we got bounced on the play in. True. They do, coll- the, they do college in there. You better not see us next yeah, year. Yeah, next year you'll be yeah. So I I I I don't mean to be cope here, but I, I kind of think it's like, all right, we had a lot of cool stuff going on. It was a sick line. Right before. Yeah, but also like I do feel like they've kind of made it clear that they're giving up. I don't think so. I really Who's don't. someone who played for the I Duke? I think they, 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 they one of the best records since the All-Star game. Who's and someone they, who played for Duke and the Pelicans? No, 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 not not the players. I mean, the organization has said. I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's just there's a lot. I, I don't know. That's the thing. I, get, I, I do think getting bounced out of the plan is a little embarrassing. It's actually very embarrassing. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what they it's do in the offseason. It's all good teams, though. It's not like you lost to a. That's problem is it's the West. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Steph. Okay. Who's okay. starting to play for the Pistons and the Suns? Yeah. Wait, who played for the Pistons and the Suns? Yeah. And there's Pistons Kings. I got Celtics Suns. I went with Shaq. And then Celtics Kings. I forgot. Oh uh, yeah, Shaq played He's for the Celtics, Celtics at the end. Wait, did Isaiah Thomas, like the younger Isaiah Thomas, play for the Celtics and the Kings? Nice. Thanks. The older one did. For the audience, I no, farted. Not for the Celtics. Celtics and Kings? Oh, no, the younger one. You're right. Yeah. The one with the extra I in his name. Right? Yeah. Nice, nice, Moody. Yeah. He extra did. A. Let Moody close. Extra A. And then they have college. They threw in Duke in there. Sometimes they throw in stats. It'll be like someone who played for this team and got 10 rebounds per game in a season. The Pistons is fucking me up here. Pistons Kings. Well, the Pistons suck. And Pistons Suns. Bullshit. Suck my ass, Tiger. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, man. Pistons Kings. Pistons Kings. Uh, Well, who got... Marvin Bagley. Oh, yeah. He's on the Pistons. Yeah. I don't think he's even on the Pistons anymore. I think he's... Yeah. Pistons Suns. I couldn't tell you a single player on the Pistons right now. I could tell you a few. James Wiseman, Kate Cunningham. Uh, uh, shit. There's like a lot of like weird first round picks that should have been better. Yeah, on the Pistons, Pistons. Suns is tough. Okay, okay. That's two teams I really don't give a fuck. That about. was oh, nice. That was okay. nice. Damn, I'm actually close to getting nine for nine on this. There's uh the last column is Duke Blue Devils. Duke Pelicans, I got JJ Redick. Duke Pistons, I got Grant Hill. Who's Duke and played for? Okay. Duke and played for the Celtics. Come on, Clay, wake up, bag. Fuck, (laughs) Clay has fucked us up this whole game. He he should he should have just like given it to. uh... Oh my god! Oh, he needed to hit that. He needed to hit that, or just slow it down and give it to Steph, dude. Let's see if anyone in the chat has helped me out. Tell me someone to play <laughs> for the Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace played for the Suns. I don't know. Someone in the chat saying uh, Ben Wallace. I don't remember him playing for the Suns. Rasheed Classic Wallace, Draymond. maybe. Oh, yeah. Bummer way for this to. Classic to Draymond. All right, I'm throwing in Ben Wallace here. Don't lead me wrong, YouTube Who's chat. Hugged him? Who's hugging him? No, nope. Ben Wallace did not play for the Suns. You guys have the internet. You fucked Just me look it up. up. No, you look it up, it's cheating. But if uh, I take advice from a friend... No, no, no chat, them. Oh, them. Pat Don't just De- say a name. Pat DeRose, you fucked me over. Nah. Huh? 
I was just laughing. What happened? Oh, offensive foul on Moody. All right, I blew a guess. Duke and the Celtics. Oh, wait. What Played happened? For Duke and the Celtics. There's probably a bunch. I really I really don't know anything about college. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Sh- who the fuck knows about college or basketball? You've- I know a little. I mean, J.J. Redick and Grant Hill from Duke. Those are easy ones. Well, Grant Hill then. Right. Yeah, but he, I got him for the Pistons. But someone uh, for the Celtics. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try Rasheed Wallace for the. All right. Yeah, he's on the Pistons. Pistons and Suns. No, he never played for the Suns. Okay. That was nice. Oh, Grand okay. Hill. Grand Hill would have worked. Antonio Hill. Antonio McDice played for the Pistons and Suns. Oh, fucking Jason Tatum played for Duke. Oh, really? Yeah, that's hilarious. That been the I, yeah, I, I like I. N- and so did Kyrie. Oh, fuck! Kyrie played for Duke. Yeah. When did he get drafted? I think he was number one overall. In like two two thousand eleven. No, like two thousand twelve, like thirteen or fourteen, I think. He was number one overall the year after Dion Waiters, right? Yeah, I think so. Both for the Cavs. Was Dion Waiters number one Christ. overall? Yes. No, this it was is someone brutal. else. Um, or was it was number three overall? Play. Um, Anthony Bennett. Or was that? <sighs> was that the same one? year? Uh, Kyrie Irving first overall in 2011. It was 2011. I don't think this. I don't think this is winnable anymore. 2010 was John Wall. Oof. 2009 was Blake Griffin. All right, maybe it was after Kyrie. Well, that's the dagger. That's a dagger. Ay, ay, ay. Kyrie Irving in 2011, then 2012, the Cavs. Oh no, that was New Orleans taking Anthony Davis in 2012. Has he been in the league that long? Yeah, 2012. Holy shit. And then 2013 was Anthony Bennett. It's always so weird when there's a first overall pick that just three years later they're out of the league. That is insane, yeah. Andrea Bargnani was another one. I'm going to get blackout drunk tonight out of <laughs> sadness. It's the worst day of my life. Five more minutes of gameplay left. I can't believe we're about to lose to the fucking Kings. You got to hang on with your boys. You got to eat. No, some, no, yeah. This is a, this you got actually, to eat some extra I'm cheese actually glad pizza. We're all here <laughs> no, the, all this, uh, I'm glad we're all here tonight because that's actually softened the blow. If I was here by myself, I would be in a very dark place. If you were here by yourself and you got a Let's no, Be Friends this, text uh, and the Warriors know, lost. But the fact that I'm in this live thing and I'm here with my friends has yeah. made it much better. Much better. No, I'm uh, tomorrow's gonna be brutal for me too, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm out of Adderall. <laughs> me too, dude. Is and I'm out till Adderall? Thursday, <laughs> and and I it's already midnight, and I still have to take a forty minute train home after I pack shit up. So it's gonna be two two a.m. Where, where do you live? You're in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Before I go to bed, I'm I have to wake up. I have to wake up on time. I have to still work. Uh, so I'm going to have, you know, four or five hours of sleep. I'm going to be hung over. This is I've had eight beers at least so far. You guys better enjoy this live stream. You don't know what we're sacrificing for you. I'm literally this is the lowest I point of my entire life. Have nine beers. I'm so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to get blackout drunk tonight because this might be like one of the because I had so much hope all year. I know. I was like, just. I didn't. I actually didn't all year. I only had it. The problem with this year was it was so. Two months ago, I started having hope just because I started watching the highlights of fucking. No, it was right when Kuminga just started just going fucking nuts. He here, started putting up about this Warriors here is twenty every, points a game. Every two months, it was once I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Yeah. Every two months, every fucking two months. <laughs> tonight is tonight. They tell what? you they just want to be friends. Oh, with Tim, you. Robbie texting that girl trying to change things right now. No, <laughs> no, I, I'm taking all the L's. I'd rather take all the L's at once. Tim, do you want to do some open mics tomorrow? Does anyone want to get drunk with me and just <laughs> drown all my sorrows? 
This is the worst day of my life. No, no, no. You got. I'm actually happy you guys are here. This is actually. I'm actually having a lot of fun because you guys. Someone are in here. the chat said, "I forgot to forget about the Pistons and Bobcats. One of them isn't a team anymore. <laughs> the Bobcats, yeah. yeah, the Charlotte Bobcats. They're the Pelicans now, right? Yeah, or no, they're the no, Hornets. They're Hornets. Hornets. Oh yeah, yeah they're the, they yeah, changed they're the Hornets. No, no, because they because originally uh, it was the New Orleans uh, Hornets, yeah. but yeah. they changed to the Pelicans. Well, they're, they're, no, and then yeah. Charlotte took. Uh, well, the Bobcats. Charlotte Hornets became the Bobcats, but it was originally. Oh no, the, the Charlotte Hornets moved to New Orleans. It became the Hornets. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no. Charlotte stayed the same, and they were the Bobcats. And New Orleans, the Hornets. No, no, Charlotte moved, and then they ex- created a new Charlotte team as the Bobcats. They were a new. No, team. but they changed they to the from where? They changed, No, they, 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 the Hornets were. It was the New Orleans Hornets forever, and then. They, but no, they, they were the Charlotte Hornets in the nineties. No. I'll bet you five bucks. Yes, they started bet as you the five Charlotte bucks. Hornets. No, okay, five bucks. So, they started as the Charlotte so Hornets. New Orleans was the Pelicans, or it was the it was the New Orleans Hornets. Yes, but before that, that was the team that moved from Charlotte. No, the Charlotte the Hornets. No, the Charlotte Hornets moved to New Orleans, and then they created the Bobcats. Charlotte's Charlotte. Wait, that doesn't make sense though. The Charlotte Hornets moved to New Orleans, and then. They said, "Okay, we're going to create a new Charlotte NBA team, and that's how the Charlotte Bobcats were made. They were an expansion team." Yes, yes, but then, okay, so then the Hornets bought or the Bobcats bought out that name because no, the, the, New, Pel- the, the Hornets, New Orleans- the Hornets became the Pelicans, and the Bobcats were like we're going to become the Hornets again. Once yeah, the yeah, Hornets yes, are no yes, longer yes, used. yes, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, okay. It would be tight if we like picked teams we don't care about and actually did like real commentary that'd be f- actually it'd be more fun because i wouldn't be emotional about more it more than just like ah, ah! i know i wouldn't i, I feel not well fun. we could do a nick's watch along and i'm the oh, only one caring bitch <laughs> told me she just wanted to be friends you guys are all having a nice time and like I'm, I'm not just being freaking funny out. at all and i feel bad yeah let's do we should do more in the playoffs we should do the mavs dude yeah it'd be more fun if we don't give a fuck because i now i just don't feel like making jokes i'm just bummed i want to see the, 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 the mavs playing in the first round Ooh, uh the clippers that actually that'll be a great that series. Be a great but we should do that that's a fucking a game clippers, yeah. So, yeah. I'm yeah yeah we just yeah. keep our i mean actually if someone else has a place to do it so. <laughs> could we do it could we do a door court over yeah yeah let's do a door court spot i'd be down that sounds fun. Where's right. uh, that studio? It's in like by the tiny cupboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just take the L. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it yours from now. That'd be great. That'd be for me because look, I got <laughs> I got in trouble as I knew I would. Four twenty wins. A, a lot easier. For me I kind of want to just like let's just watch this Family Guy. Or just big three has four twenty wins together. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, it's so much easier for me to just go to your place. I guess I guess I'll just watch Please this all go down it. with the ship. Give it up, Warriors! Big three. I don't. You know what though? I I don't care if we lose. I want them all to retire together. I love them. We won four. They, they we won four, like four chips. We won four chips together. Let it's, them all retire together. I don't it's nice when you have your friends on TV. Should have been five if the refs weren't fucking so gay about uh, what's his name the the midget from Toronto, Chris Paul. Oh yeah, the midget from Toronto. Yeah, oh my what's god, this fucking weird uh, Kawhi? forehead. Dembrosen, Kyle Lowry. No, on the Raptors. Yeah. Uh, okay, it was Kawhi. The dumbass Siakam. fucking point guard, Van Fleet. Yeah, dude, I okay. hate that guy. Dude, he kept fouling over and over, and they just never called it. We also just got we had Clay got a ACL t- torn that time. Yeah, but that whole fucking boxing one, they were just allowing it was the same thing as fucking that annoying Russian dude from the Cavs. Man, what a rough time. Honestly, this might be Clay's. Uh, back in the day, you know what's really sad about this? <laughs> this no, might no, be, no, um, like no, the no the, in the on in 2019. Uh, this is a really rough one for Clay. Maybe this might be Clay's last. I remember Warriors game. The he was That's like really sad. The, the point guard that was guarding Curry and was just like fouling him over and oh. over, and they didn't call it. And then he had to go to the hospital for exhaustion. Mm. I know who you're talking about. I can't think of his name right now. It's going to drive me crazy. Yeah, it's just like a fucking stupid ass nobody who made his entire career off of fouling the shit out of Curry, and then the refs just don't care. 
Okay. All right, Charles fell. I mean, I don't. I just don't see how they come back at this point. Twenty-three points. That's crazy. I guess maybe if they just draw fouls, but you gotta just keep faith. I hate. You gotta have guy. faith. Fucking. Who's the lady behind him? What's going on there? Was Della Vadova? Della Vadova. Yeah. So annoying. Whatever. Man. Bad ending for a bad season. You know what I mean? Like it's like the season sucked anyway. It's like yeah. nothing was happening. They got to restructure the team, man. I'm sorry to say it. No, it, this is a bit. It's honestly a mirror of the year before 2022. What would they do? Australia. They would keep keep staff. Get rid I was of like, play. wait, he's not no. Russian. What is he? No, I, I think I Della think, Vidova is a fucking Muslim Russian. First of like, all, uh, I, he's could be. I think. Um, <laughs> so here's my here's my thing. Oh, it's so sad though. Because yeah. this was a good team. That that, was that's what's fucking sad. pretty. Not that they were a bad team. It was a good team. Well, yeah. what's, what's even more sad is this is not a version of the Kings that's going to do anything. Yeah, yeah. they're going to get. It was funny when we knocked them out I'm last so year when they the could Pelicans have done something. To knock them out now. Okay. But Gross. yeah, the the Pelicans are gonna knock them out. I'm excited for that. Now I'm excited for the Pelicans. Now, now I'm gonna root for the Pelicans to go all the way. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. That, get, that might be my West team to go I, that I'm gonna root for. I think they should get rid of Draymond. No, no, no. You don't have staff without Draymond. That's not happening. People love staff, but Draymond and Steph are a package if deal. Were, if they were gonna trade away Draymond, they should have traded him to Miami like three, four years. It's, ago. it's also not happening. Steph is good because of Draymond. Honestly, you Dray, need a bruiser. Dray, the, here's the thing: we would have had, we would have not even been in the play-in. If Draymond didn't have that suspension, because we were three games away from not being in the play-in, mm. the West was just brutal this year. All right, the Kings got their revenge. That actually, that the worst part of all the season was the Kings got their revenge. The worst part is trying to be that funny for tight. the last four minutes of the game during I'm the really live when you're I'm just really sad. sad. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like insanely bummed out because I, I. You guys have been trying to be funny. <laughs> no, not since it was obvious they were going to lose. It was a great game for the first half. Had me in the first half. Yeah. Ugh. I'm just sad. Well, girls. Fucking yeah! Suck. I got yeah. girls are stupid. I got, I got um, broken up with, and the Warriors lost tonight. Yeah. I'm actually glad it all happened in the same night, actually, because now I get. Oh shot! Why are you even fighting this hard? It is. It is weird how even when girls are hot, they aren't really. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's every girl that. is quote unquote hot, right? Well, no, like even hot uh, girls are just faking it. What do yeah. you mean? Once they get their makeup yeah, off, they're over. all hideous. Yeah, and and even if they're pretty without makeup, you put one kid I in them and they're cry. fat and exactly. lose pussy for the rest of their life. Yeah. yeah, they've suddenly got broad shoulders. They never did. True. They're they're hot and beautiful young baby, and then you'd put one kid in them and they're restructured like an orangutan. <laughs> This is like just describing like aging. <laughs> this yeah, not women, for me. Women not for be, me. When I age, I'm do, gonna have a stronger jaw yeah. and some like a nice gray beard. Women yeah. do be aging. Women age, and it's like it's might have been the worst case scenario. Now they have a nice gray beard. Yeah, the mustache. Poor stuff. Find a nice, a, Whatever. A beautiful Latina. Hey, I'm excited for Something the. She's got hey, the frog at least, body. I, at least I got to see them at the Olympics now. Happens overnight. <laughs> Cheer for America. It will be cool for Steph to get a gold medal and for people to pretend yeah, that, he's that matters. Yeah, a gold medal ever. I, it, it, who really fucking cares? I do. It's funny that Draymond has one and Steph does it. That is very funny. <laughs> yeah. Steph has never done an Olympics. Yeah. Ugh, who's that's... this guy in the blue that looks like Drake? This thing. Yeah. I hate to see Keegan Murray. This is embarrassing. Have a this is like the most embarrassing and embarrassing ending to an embarrassing season. The fucking gayest guy on earth, I swear. Pods was really the shining light for you guys. Honestly, this year. Yeah, honestly, I'm no no joke. 
Yes, I was like the. You know one... they're trading him this season. <laughs> this offseason, yeah. Paz is getting traded. Kaminga's getting traded. Trace too. The most important thing they is they all play. Not their best. be able to trade Trace. Why? Because he's shockingly good for where we drafted him, but I don't know that he's like a commodity. I mean, if we could keep him, that'd be for great. contract value. The thing is, the 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 problem is they need to. They're they've said they're gonna get out of the luxury tax. <sighs> here's the thing. Also, here's the here here's a, also a a bright spot is I didn't see them even going past the first round. So I'd actually rather they not have that wear and tear. You know what? You know what I mean? Like I guess. I mean, yeah. As a, if you at this there, point with this Steph team, is where, old, right? Yeah, with older players, if you're going to not win, they're not you gonna almost want to get it's out not, early yeah. so you can regroup better for the next. I think year. next yeah. year will be. I mean, I don't. I don't want to do all cope. This sucks ass. But that's my cope. Is like, all right, we don't have. Steph. If you're gonna not win the championship, you may as well get out early. Yeah, because we're not winning that. We're not winning this year. That's not well, I mean, obviously now. <laughs> but I we all we knew all year we weren't winning. It was a bit it was a weird like transition year, honestly. Well, no, the thing is I, I thought that, maybe yeah. something could possibly I happen know, because I know. so many of the top West teams are frauds. Yes, and and the difference between a good and a bad West team. Who are the, the let's go Quinones? Let's do like Timberwolves, OKC or frauds. Frauds. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you look at the if you look at the first seed versus us, which is the ten seed, it was, it's like five or six games. Yeah, that's what's like with the West this year. So it's going to be Kings Pelicans. Winner faces. I'm Denver. rooting for the Pelicans so hard now. Yeah, seeing Zion I mean, again. It doesn't no, matter. actually, now I hope the Kings face Denver. Oh, because that makes you. No, 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 no. Sorry. Now the Lakers are facing Denver. Yeah. But yeah, now I'm rooting for the fucking Pelicans now because now the Pelicans are. Uh, Gonna face the uh, Pelicans OKC. Will face OKC. This is really sad. This is a fucking bummer. Oh uh, yeah, if it was OKC, I'm turning this off. No, come on. <laughs> yeah, fuck this. I'm over it. No, they're doing garbage uh, time. All right. If it was um, Pelicans versus Nuggets, chat, I would love to fun. see like a Jokic Zion matchup. That'd be fun. Well, now the Pelicans could make a run. Which now yeah. I'm now I'm rooting for the Pelicans. Honestly. Yeah. After tonight. Honestly, uh, story of the night, Anthony Davis overcame his headache. <laughs> that sucks. I was like, the Lakers won. I was like, oh, the Warriors are going to win now because I thought it was the script. Mm. Whoever said the NBA is rigged now, now it needs to. Uh, that's that 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 talking point is over. The NBA is not because it could have been Warriors Lakers, yeah. which it would have been if it was rigged. if it was actually rigged. Anyone yeah. who says the NBA is rigged is is fucking stupid now. Yeah. You don't think. At that uh, I I blanked on his name, Adam Silverstein. Adam Silver, yeah, Silverstein. Uh, you made him is, more Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, how funny would it be to imagine Silverstein? The you know band, what? He deserves as this, they're all he deserves Jewish. To not rig it for the first time, he deserves to not rig it because they have a TV contract up too. They could have used these ratings so much. They needed Steph Curry in these play playoffs. And this is the first year they decided not to go nuts with foul merchants treated rig it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, except that they never really liked Steph being a foul they merchant. They hate like, yeah, no, because they love LeBron. They glaze LeBron and Steph yeah. was Steph was in his way. That's why he's been eternally underrated. But it's like, but he he is still the it's it's that's really sad. Steph didn't even make the playoffs. And we'll on this That's really sad note. Are we signing off? I guess so. Yeah, let's sign off. <laughs> I'm really sad. But we appreciate everybody who watches and comments. We're probably going to do more of these, right? I'll Mavs, do, I'll do Mavs more. Clippers. I, I, need, I need a couple weeks off to, to lick my wounds. Let's do the Knicks. Let's do a Knicks I'll game. I'll do Knicks. I'll, let's I'm, do a Knicks I'll switch game. to Knicks, but I need a week, I need a week or two. Okay. It, is, it is offensive that the Knicks made the playoffs. What? No, they're the number two seed too. Here's here's what makes me mad though is how weak if if the Warriors were in the East seed, they'd be like the number three. Yeah. If they're in the East, like I I hate the disparity between the West and the East. That that I don't mean to be like 
like come on the Cavs are the fourth seed look I don't want to get ahead of the Warriors and the I don't want to get the Cavs the Cavs Cavs are are essentially the Rockets of the East I don't want to get ahead of myself but it's time for Jalen Brunson to be in the goat conversation that's all I'm saying (laughs) well I I actually do think Jalen Brunson's amazing but it's like okay there's Jalen Brunson isn't even as good as Jamal Murray no one would know his name if he was in the West I know I do think I think Jamal I think he's up there. Number I th- two seed. Good. good. You guys are gonna be eating some crow when the Knicks win the championship. I just, I just Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Jalen Brunson literally was considered a role player when he was in the West. And look at Dante Givincenzo. He was on the Warriors as a bench player. Yeah, and uh, now he's breaking records with the Knicks. Because on the East, it's it's just so nerfed. He's no, he's just a real like. He's just he's like a scrappy guy. He plays the game the right he's way. He's a lunch pail. Yeah. I just wish there was more parity between the East and the West because, like, every year it's a dog fight in the fucking, especially this year. Jesus fucking Christ. This is the first year there was uh, every single team in the top 10 were yeah. over 500. I mean, if other teams in the uh, East would we, just play as hard as even, the next day. Weren't the Rockets over 500? Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, every the first 11 seeds were all over 500 in the West. In the East, it was just a poverty. Like five teams that were over 500. There were about three good teams in the East this year. <laughs> Too honestly, honestly, they need to get up to the next level. Which ones? The Celtics. It was uh, yeah. So it was Celtics. The Knicks. Are you counting the Knicks? Twenty twenty four, baby. They're good, they're good, no, they're good. Since so counting the Knicks as a good team. No, after the trade deadline, they're good. They're good. OG is really good for them. Brunson's been great. Like Isaiah Hart. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I really Quentin, wanted OG. Grimes, Dante, I was really uh, hoping Dante. we would have landed OG instead of the fucking dumbass. I listen to Stephen A. Smith. Quentin Grimes has been great, also. <laughs> Dante uh, Dante Divincenzo has had the most three pointers outside of the Warriors. I know. I actually put a yeah. bet on. I did a parlay on him hitting five, Steph hitting five. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I I did a five way parlay on threes, and the only one that didn't do it was Steph. Oh, it's annoying. I so yeah, no, Don, but Dante said he learned how to make threes from Steph because he was on the Warriors. They asked him like, "How do you how do you make so many threes? And he was like, "Oh, I learned from Steph Curry." It's but it's just the West is such a bloodbath, and the East is like affirmative action, basically. Yeah, it's just the Knicks and the Celtics and the. Bucks are still third. Someone in the chat said, I'm confused by the names. I'm guessing you guys are talking about black guys. We are until we start seeing someone is a real uh, <laughs> yeah, a a high tail, IQ player. Rat, good fundamentals. Athletic. <laughs> yeah. Well, great court vision. I think it's time for me to head out of here, guys. Yeah. yeah thank you, guys. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Thanks, Thanks for watching also. And um, I'm sorry I'm sad now. It'll get better. It's a bummer. Yeah. It will it get gets better. better. I'd be down to do like a later. Pl- I mean, I just need a few. I need a couple of weeks to to lick my wounds, maybe. Right. Once. Uh, I'd be down to do like a later playoffs thing, maybe. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. Stanley Cup. Especially. If- <laughs> it would be. It would be fun to do Mavs Clippers. Dude, that's Mavs Clippers would yeah. be fun. Mavs, do it at Clippers. your place just so I don't get in trouble for it. Yeah, I just can't get in trouble again. Hey, look, I'm not going to complain. It's so much easier if I can just roll over and go to bed afterwards. That sounds sick. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll do it at I'm, Miguel's I'm next time. So not. All right, if we'll do it at your place. All my stuff and take a train home. Hey, right Miguel, now. if we'll do it at your place, then I'm done doing whatever. So yeah, yeah. let's do whatever. If, yeah. uh, if we can do I'm yours. down. All right, hell yeah, sounds fun. All right, well, uh, everybody, thank you for everyone for tuning in. I'm going to kill myself. Uh, thank you for watching Inside Inside the Inside the NBA. Inside mm-hmm. the NBA. I'm the, so mad. The Charles Dream Barkley. on Green Show companion podcast. Yes, thank you for watching the Dream on Green Show companion podcast. Good night, everybody. Oh, good shit, guys.